Let's let's get this thing started. Is this number nine? I think so. I think we're... How are we doing today? We're doing okay. We're peeling still. I had a sunburn about two weeks ago, and I'm still peeling. Isn't that sad? Dude, you get some weak-ass skin, though. I know. <laughs> no, I know. It's this pasty boy lifestyle. Are you putting lotion on? Mm, that's uh, my problem. No. I know. It's all natural, though. All natural lotion. Like how the cavemen used to do it. <laughs> natural lotion is just... What does that even mean? Sh- natural lotion? Well, I meant, like, no, like, no... No lotion no at all. No lotion at all. It's, it's like, natural lotion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's natural. Like, you just let it go. <laughs> yeah. Like, because the cave didn't have moisturizing. modern medicine. Do you think they got sunburnt? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they were immune. They, they were probably in the cave. were. They weren't sun men. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuck in the cave. That's where we evolved from. It's just from the cave. Well, we I bet not because, like. Weren't they all, like, hairy? I think they're they were like, super hairy, looking. so it was probably. Uh, like protected yeah. to a certain extent, but even then, like I feel like we've evolved to be like in this day and age, we've evolved to be like so. Um, I don't want to say weak, <laughs> but like we've evolved to get weaker. We like, have. We've, I we've think taking like, a step backward. I feel like then, <laughs> like they had some just like some tough skin. Dude, like it was like real, leather, like leather, leather yeah. hands. Yeah, and now we have these like you gotta put lotion on. I need shea butter. I need. To- <laughs> Where's my shea butter at? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know Dude, what I don't what know. I don't know what, what happened during of. the uh, the chain of evolution. Yeah, I wasn't there. We broke down. There's no mechanic. I feel like we did. It's because natural selection doesn't exist anymore. That's why. You know what I mean? It you doesn't can, anymore. You can, not for humans. Uh, <laughs> it still doesn't. I mean, somewhat. Yeah. I, guess. I I don't know. We don't have predators. It's just. That's true. I it's guess, just us. Yeah. It's just our own stupidity, our own if that's what you mean by natural selection. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Like, the people eat Tide Pods. It's like, okay, are we really yep. mad that... I mean, yeah, it's sad, but it's also like, what did you think was going to happen? You're eating chemicals. You're eating so. Tide Pods, bro. The so. forbidden fruit. <laughs> God. I would never eat so, a Tide Pod in my life. Yeah, I feel like... No matter how tempting they look. No matter how you dressed it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> put it on a nice plate, like kind a of five-star marinade you could put on it. Oh, kind of seasoning you could put in there all right you want to go get some tide pods or what Dude, let's <laughs> take a quick tide pod break we have a special uh guest this episode <laughs> an <laughs> audience member we have one one real life viewer slash listener <laughs> james we, go we ahead wanted, it's it's emily i was gonna say just not gonna introduce i know like, just mystery we do woman. have yeah we have a guest i'm gonna pass her do the not mic need so to, she can say what's need up to know who it is do I have to actually say what's up? No, I'm just yes, you have to <laughs> say what's up and that you love Those a very good podcast. Yeah. Oh, Re- that's gave your script. Remember the script. Remember oh the script. Gosh, patriarchy. <laughs> All right, I'm taking the mic away. All right, guys. All right, that's enough. That's enough of that one. So, um, I have here's my topic. <laughs> I was gonna say we have. I'll, I'll today. start us off. <laughs> we have zero today. We were shopping at Target because stores are opened again. Yes. Like more stores, right? Oh, it's like, not just yeah, like, it's like all the way open. Yeah. So we went to Indy, I think, right? Or is it Castleton? Yeah. I'm going to be doing this the whole time. It's just going to be talking at her to reference. The, but, That's uh, okay. Um, yeah, I think it was in, like, Castleton anyway. But it was, like, a super target. And Respect. so we went to the uh, – yeah, we've got some clothes there. And I was, like, in the clothing department. It's not even really that close, I thought, to the electronics. Mm-hmm. But out of nowhere, I hear the Fortnite bus honking. No. No. And I wanted to know how often you hear that and if it ever, like, if you hear it at night. Oh, okay. Because I feel like I hear yeah. all the time when I'm in the Kokomo one, I'm, honk, honk. Yeah. And I'm like, what even so is making that sound? If nobody knows, James is referring to, uh, like, Target. We have the drive up now. So you just order your stuff and then we just take it out to you, which is really cool. Um, And, like, we get a notification, like, when you say you're here and it sounds like the Fortnite battle bus. Like I'm to a so, T. Like I'm pretty sure it's the same sound. Bite. Legit sound. I thought it was like a promotion. I thought there was gonna be like a big Fortnite like <laughs> display. And I'm like, this game's been out forever. Yeah. Why are we still? We're just now pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of <laughs> feel bad that I said it's a Fortnite bus, but literally it sounds just like the Fortnite bus. It, I think and it I is. And I was like, why? Just randomly honk honk. I'm like, what? Is yeah. It's like you know when you walk past like I don't know how often you pass like the Legos or anything, but like they have the displays and they light up. Yeah, like like motion sense. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, is there like, some motion sense Fortnite? There is, 
But no, that's just letting us know that like the people are here and that we should take their They're stuff here. out to them. Um, but especially now, more than ever, like with the uh, coronavirus going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, with quarantine. Peop- quarantine. People are ordering drive-ups like... like it's getting better now, but, like, a couple weeks ago. Like, that's all people were doing. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. especially since, like, service desk, we weren't taking any returns or anything. Mm-hmm. So, that was basically my job for, like, an eight-hour shift is to yeah, just n- shop. nonstop take people's stuff out. Dude, just them. sprinting down yeah. the milk aisle or Pretty, something. Well, <laughs> it's like, well, luckily with that, like, we have other people, like, other people in the store, they take care of that. Mm-hmm. They go grab it, and then they put it in the room, and then, like... It's just all in there, like, in certain locations and mm, stuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And so, like, when they say that they're here, we just – it tells us the location. We go grab it and then take it out to them. Like, okay. that's my job is I go grab it out of the room and I take it out to them. It's already in bags and everything. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But – Have like, you had to do the shopping part yourself? Though? Yeah. And yeah. actually – I think I, you did that recently, right? Yeah. I, th- I think I did that when I saw you in there. So No, I was doing no, electronics. you are doing electronics that yeah. day. But uh, I've done that and it's, it's like, it's so nice. I feel like because you can't – uh, how are you, how do they ask you to like, if you, if a customer asks you for help, like, do you have to stop and help them or? Yeah. Dang. I can I be like, I'm busy like, and then run, run away. <laughs> just leave the cart yeah. there. I guess it depends. Like if they need someone electronics, I'll be like, yo, electronics, you got right. somebody yeah, yeah. here. Pass, but the, pass it's off like the baton. A quick question, like something easy that Where's, I know. Where's, you know, cards. Yeah. You're like, okay, down that aisle. Yeah. Cause like, it's, um, like when you go grab the stuff, they put it in like these batches and you have like three hours to get it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's kind of timed, but it's three hours. It's plenty of time. And it's not going to take you three hours to get like 20 things. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's easy and I can just take like a second. Like the other day I was in the middle of one and someone spilled or no, like our cart person like grabbed the trash from outside mm-hmm. and they took it to the back and it just dripped from the front of the store and there is a line there's just a <laughs> whole like trail. A, a cookie crumb trail. Yeah, but it was just trash it's juice. Just trash trash juice. juice trail all the way to the back, so I just stopped and helped clean that up. I was like, I'm fine. God. It doesn't matter. There was a huge-ass, like, puddle of it, though. I'm like, what is that? And it smelled weird. Ew. Like, what kind of combination of For real, liquids what? is this? Yeah, what chemistry do we have going on in here? it was sticky. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I don't want to know what happens <laughs> in that trash can. Yeah. What goes on inside that trash can? <laughs> but, like, um, yeah, like a couple weeks ago. If I was up front, it would just you would hear that the battle bus noise <laughs> every five seconds. Yeah. Like for eight, eight hours. Like just beep beep, honk honk, honk honk, honk honk, and there's people just showing up. And I'm just like, like sweating. I'm running outside like every five <laughs> seconds. I'm running around all confused. I'm like, where do these go? Like who goes where? Like, <laughs> Where's my squad? Yeah, where, yeah. where are we dropping? <laughs> who's building the <laughs> fort? Like who's building? Who has the scar? Who's, re- who's got the, yeah. Who's got, who's got wood? Uh, who's got wood? What, mats? Who's got mats? Mats, yeah. yeah. I was like, who's got resources? I was like, I think that's Who's got resources? Do you have the resources? But it sucks. And I do hear it, like, at home. Yeah. Like, I swear, like, some, I'll just be sitting there and I hear it. Or, like, the phone. Like, uh, like when our phone rings. Yeah. Sometimes, like, I'll just be sitting, you hear it like, in, the, in, the in my nightmares. Like, I uh, just, like, wake up in a cold sweat. I'm like, uh, thank you for calling Pokemon <laughs> Target. This is Cameron. How can I you, help like, you? look around. You're like, oh. No, oh, thank God. Thank God. It's just a dream. I'm not wearing red right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the sign. You're like, look. You're like, what am I wearing? Uh, <sighs> do I have my name tag on? Uh, do I have my khakis on? Take another Benadryl and <laughs> close off, eyes. dude. <laughs> just pop, like, two and a half Benadryl and just... I'm out for another 15 hours <laughs> <laughs> just to recharge for quick, the next uh, <laughs> quick hiatus. <laughs> just going to. It's my vacation. It's just popping a drill and sleeping. Two bennies. Yeah. Basically, at this point, I'm working so much. It's just sleep is the vacation. <laughs> you eight hours of vacation a day. Exactly. <laughs> and it's pretty nice. Yeah. But we, uh, I don't know. I was going to transition into the questions but that was a really bad transition but that i'll was, just go it's and not say smooth, it. yeah but yeah it's all right that's we're working on it it's an i'm nervous today it's okay you know i'm nervous we don't have anything yeah so i get real antsy and i'm like what are we gonna yeah what are we gonna i was gonna say? ask you though you uh went while you because you said you were doing like the shopping and uh when i was texting you that's when you listened to the goggins podcast yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so i kind of i wanted to know your thoughts on that but true i, I want to talk about that i did not write that down though. but we can let's address the question thing yeah since, since we're at like up. we're on the top of the podcast yeah um i posted uh episode eight on twitter and then i had 
a longtime fan, I think his name is Sam. Shout out Sam. Shout out Sam. Uh, tweeted that we should take viewer questions and answer them. And I think that's a that's a great. It's idea, an incredible Sam. idea. So like, if anybody has any questions they want to like ask us or they want us to talk about anything, like we so that could this doesn't discuss. happen again. Yeah, because it's been <laughs> happening a lot. I just what it is is like I think of stuff and then I am like in the middle of work or something. I don't write it down and then mm-hmm. I forget about it. So then, like when the week comes and like the day before, James is like, "Yo, when should we record?" And I'm like. Dude, I don't have anything yeah. in my notes. It just depends, dude. Like some day, some some weeks, I'll have interesting things that happen throughout. Yeah, that's know, that's kind of what then, I bank on, and then when yeah. it doesn't happen, especially working retail, man. Yeah, you're like something interesting is gonna happen today. And usually it does, but then I just like I it's get something that it's big enough for me, like for my day, that it's interesting enough. Yeah, that I could like talk about it. Like if someone's like, "Oh, what'd you do today?" or "How'd your day go?" I could talk about it. Right. But a week from now, it's not. Yeah, it's just it's like, literally like like retelling it. It's like yeah, this is not as like some kids said hi to me, and I was like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like that was it. That was yeah. the highlight of my day one time. <laughs> some kid, some little kid was like, "How are you today?" And I was like, "Oh, that's pretty like, cool." Wow, that's very nice. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> No, if you want to tweet at us, though. Yeah, um, I'm going to put our Twitters in the description. I'm going to start doing that because I never you? did that. I know you yeah. mentioned something about it. I was going to read them off right now, but yeah, yeah we'll just put them in the description. We can still read them off. Okay. Because if Cameron's like, is at Cameron underscore underscore I. Yeah, right? there's two, two underscores. underscores. You know, a lot of the times when people would ask me, like, I think it's the same on Instagram. So, like, yeah, I have. Perfect. Yeah. So, it's like they're both the same, but whenever I would say it, I'd be like, Cameron, two underscores, I. And they would put Cameron, the number two, one uh, underscore, underscore and I. I. I'm like, uh, no. No, it's underscore, underscore. You think I would have my my handle look like that? What are you, that a looks, clown? That looks cringe, put bro. Put numbers in my handle? I can't put numbers in my handle. God. No way. And mine is at underscore Wilkison, and I have to spell that out. Yes. W-I-L-K-I-S-O-N. And then another underscore. It was very ASMR the way you said that. I liked I that. kind of found that <laughs> found the ASMR midway through the through I the last the ASMR name. ASMR channel. I've been watching it like crazy, so I've just been whispering all so day. So I've just been whispering. I've been channeling my really my ASMR energy. <laughs> my inner asthma. I said that because Matt. I don't know what I was talking about, but Matthew's on the internet too, and I just call it asthma. He's like, "What do you call it, asthma? Like, do you say PETA or do you say PETA?" <laughs> <laughs> Freaking nerd. I've heard people say asthma all the time. I think asthma is pretty. I think I it's funny. It's common. And it's like funnier. It. Asthma. Asthma? Excuse me? Listen to asthma? Yo, bro, what? Excuse me? It smells like straight up asthma. <laughs> <laughs> bro, is that you? It smells like asthma. But uh, that's since your Instagram's the same, right? Yours is just Cameron underscore underscore I. Yes. Mine's James dot Wilkison. And I actually recently had my Instagram, someone tried to hack it. Yeah, you text about that. Yeah, that that's was pretty whack because that's the first time it's ever happened. Someone's trying to infiltrate. But uh, I got a text. Get that very good podcast juice off your. They're trying to get that yeah, off your profile. I'll, I don't know why. I have seven posts. I don't know what they're trying to steal from <laughs> yeah. me. Seven posts and like ninety followers. So it's like they're like, whoa. They're going for the little fish and and big <laughs> pond. You know yeah. what I mean? They're like, we're just fishing for guppies. We're not trying to get a bass. They're looking for potential. That's, that's right. That's what it is. Because we have lots of potential. They know I that. Think. They see that. But anyway, I just got a text from. A number, it's like, you know, 794-156 is your Instagram code. And I was like, what? Why do I need to know that? And <laughs> just then letting I, you know. Just This case, is your Instagram code. Here's your PIN number, in case you forgot it. <laughs> but then I opened up my Instagram, and it's like, we've detected a, a, a login, or a, an attempted login from Louisiana. Louisiana, of it's all like, places. What? They're too busy. Stop catching crawdads. we got to go hack <laughs> this boy's Instagram account. <laughs> Everyone put down your crawdads. <laughs> James's Instagram is our next target. BYOCD. Bring your own crawdad. Bring your own crawdad. <laughs> this is a BYOCD party. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to take a drink, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Spit it. Just show up like two, just two in one, like in each hand. Like not even like buckets, just like. It's got two crawdads. Just two crawdads in your hand. So uh, I'm here. These are my pet crawdads. Everybody like throws them in a circle and they all just like mingle. This is the crawdad mingling party. It's like a mixer. <laughs> crawdad singles mixer. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Uh, I can't go to church later. I got a crawdad mixer. Like, I got it. We're polygamists. We have crawdads. <laughs> Dude. You have to bring one boy and one girl crawdad. Craw mom and crawdad. 
This is my craw family. <laughs> this is my my crawfish, my craw dog, my <laughs> my craw son, my craw daughter. <laughs> craw dads. You're like <laughs> I didn't know your parents were gay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, man, I got two crawdads. I what two about crawdads. I have two crawdads. You should not judge me for that. Oh man, some brother husband action. Maybe brother like husband, <laughs> dude, I remember that. Was that That's on the podcast? one of my favorites? I don't know. I think, I think it, it was. was, but I think you said that. But I think you said it before the podcast. Probably but that deserves to be a couple on the of brother husbands. <laughs> TLC show, the knockoff sister wives. Brother husbands. That'd be incredible. Something like A and E or something. I learned about some like stupid, 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 uh, like reality, like celebrity reality TV shows. I guess not reality, but like uh, you know those uh, those shows where they put like C list or like D list celebrities like through challenges. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I was watching. I was on Facebook this morning, <laughs> and I was watching a video of what happened to Wee Man after Jackass because oh, no. it just popped up. And he was on, like, this show that was, uh, where they took celebrities, like, of his caliber. <laughs> like, his Wee tier. Man's, yeah, Wee his Man's tier. tier. And they, like, <laughs> sent them, like. Sounds like a location. Like, we're heading to Wee Man's tier. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Wee Man's territory. 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 This is where Wee Man We are Wee sleeps. Man tribe. We are the Wee Man tribe. <laughs> so much of tiny skateboarders. <laughs> But they put them like in uh, like through police academy. Okay. I guess if that's what you want to call it, and then they send them out <laughs> with real police officers to arrest like oh legit like yeah. make an arrest. Like I don't know if like the the perps we'll call them the perpetrators popping perps are like <laughs> I'll pop a perp. <laughs> but like I don't know if they were like actors. Act- oh yeah yeah. I mean they like like it's a simu if it's simulated kind yeah, of yeah. But I mean the whole the premise of the show is that these are like real, real. like criminals. Yeah. Not nothing like murderers or anything like that. But like <laughs> first first degree murder. We're, we're sending wee, wee man. man. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's like I can't aim below waist <laughs> level. <laughs> if it's waist and above. I'm sorry. We have another his like, arms in like a fixed position. He's like, I can't bring it down. Out. Wee yeah. man, bring in the wee man. I got that wee man on me. Bring it. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling my gun if I carry a gun. I got that wee man on me. <laughs> wee man. <laughs> Just a smaller person that's holding your gun. <laughs> it's pulling out my pocket. It's like a little goblin, a little elf. It's like those little. Do you ever have those little? Uh, they're like little pills you put in water and then they expand. Yeah. That's what you do. You have to put them down and like water them. Put them in a puddle and they're like, all right, give me a second. Throw them in a trash puddle. <laughs> oh my god. Trash. The trash juice puddle. Yeah, kind of monstrosity. The yeah, I was gonna. You're like shit. We'll have to put them down. <laughs> Sorry. We messed like up. Like after he catches the bag, it's like good work, and then just shoot him in the head. <laughs> it's like some old yeller type stuff. <laughs> 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 you did good out there. Now you're going to a better place. We don't have to live as this monstrosity. <laughs> you can We're be not in ready peace. for you on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> The world isn't ready <laughs> for the trash juice monster. Take you out back. The trash juice cop. That'd be sick. That'd be a cool TV show, I guess. Yeah. I would watch that. <laughs> but there's also one um, called Celebrity Circus. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's and that? like, is that still, is it still the same premise, but yeah. like C-listers yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. So flips like, off. Dude, as, where's Circus City, the capital of the world? Why aren't they here? Exactly. They should, they should be doing it in the Peru like circus building. Yeah. You know, there's a movie filmed here. What? Yeah, with the, uh, like, his name is Sid Haig. And he was in. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds fake. It does, it does <laughs> sound fake, but he was in uh, those. Uh, oh, God. How do you spell it? Let's do a quick. S I D, like, H A I G, I think. Let's do a quick I am. But he was in DB the. Uh, the Rob Zombie movies. Oh, really? As that clown. I don't know. You probably have seen the clip. Probably. But he was in the Rob Zombie movies, like, as a, like, a clown that murdered people. I just broke my hat. Pause. <laughs> Sorry. He was in Halloween, the 2007 one. Yeah. I think the movie's called Little Big Top. And they filmed it here in Peru. Huh. And it was just him, like, he was in Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. Yeah. What? But it was, like, him, uh, like, he was this, like, washed up Dude, clown. The first thing that pops up. This is how good the algorithm is. Yeah, I dude, type in know. little because I said top. it out loud. Yeah, like, they're listening. One. Yeah, the cookies, bro. 
It's a comedy slash indie film. That I'll, was filmed here? Yeah. Huh. Well, like, I was watching clips of that the, more often. I was, <laughs> we're the billboards for that one. Oof. Right above Subway. To its budget, what? 240 grand. Nice. Box office, seven grand. Nice, dude. That's why we don't talk about it. Seven grand. That's all from Peruvians. It's 100% from. Nobody else watched that. I watched the, like, the whole movie's on YouTube with, like. <laughs> just, like, the uploaded movie. Yeah, it's, like, like, it's on YouTube with, like, German subtitles or something like that. <laughs> or, like, Korean subtitles, something wacky. God. But um, I watched a little bit of it. It's just like him, like as like this washed up like clown. Yeah. And he's all drunk all the time. He's just like I got six point three out of ten. That's definitely nice, dude. That's better than Respect. us. Like a Peru eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Peru eight. This is a solid eight on our terms. But like he goes to the circus building and is like becoming a clown again. And like it's dubbed, teaching. someone dubbed it the Citizen Kane of alcoholic clown movies. What does that even mean? Well, Citizen Kane's supposed to be like one of the best movies ever. Oh, I don't. I've never even heard of that. I it's kind of old actually, but um, I think I've watched it. My dad's gonna classic Chad. He knows. <laughs> He'll know. He'll know. He definitely knows more about. He's a it. movie guy. He is. And an insane clown posse guy. So he's this is right up his alley if you think about it. Whoa, I didn't even put it together after I said it. <laughs> Two worlds collide. Wow. But no, anyway, it's supposed to be one of the best movies ever. And I forget, well, I can't tell you why, because I'm just a young Gen Zer. Young guy. I'm a Gen Zer. Gen Zer, it's not my <laughs> it's not my thing. But anyway. I need to so watch So that's kind the, of a big praise for it to be called the Citizen Kane. Yeah. Of, of alcoholic clown movies. Which is really a small demographic. <laughs> but so it's like yeah, I feel like there's like being the five star general premise, of a one man yeah. army. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that one time we went to an army surplus store, and I bought a five star like pin, and yeah. I thought it was like oh my god, like some man Dude, has stolen valor, bro. I didn't wear it out in public. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go there. Okay. But uh, I was like oh my god, like you know how many men like General Shepard, like people have, General Shepard have like worn this Colonel Sanders. Has like worn in my head, I'm like this has been worn. Like it's not like a thrift. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this has been worn through Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in my head, so I was like, oh, my God. So I bought it, like, of course. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to hang it on a shelf or put it on my shelf. Put it on my black, like, all black athletic tee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's... Wear that to your, like, track meets or, like, Shh. So anyway, I wore it to uh, my aunt and uncle's house one time. Cause and I had they just yelled recently stolen bought. valor? No. <laughs> my grandpa was, he was in Vietnam, though, and he was like, yeah, you're the five star general of a one man army. <laughs> and I was in my head. I was like defeated because that yeah. was a pretty good. I mean, that was a good. He got really got me there. Dude, he, he got you. But I was got also like ass, still a five star general. So yeah. I was like, I'm, st- yeah, still five stars. Still five stars though. though. It don't even matter. Yeah, but I don't even know what I do did with it now. But I That's remember, remember buying it and thinking it was like it the was. It's been worn scene. like. So like some man. This has, has been. This has seen hell. This has been to hell and back. <laughs> This piece of metal has seen hell. This is history. And here I am at 12 years old buying it <laughs> for $15. <laughs> at an army surplus store. Off of 31 <laughs> Yes, dude. Hmm. I love it. I, that remi- I need to watch the uh, Insane Clown Posse movies, though. <laughs> oh, my God. The cl- what's the cowboy one? There's like two of them, right? Yeah. I don't remember what they're called. I, the cowboy I one. saw them at FYE, though. I saw one of them, maybe. I feel like FYE would be one of the cool stores to work at. Like, it's, like, for retail. Like, yeah. if I had to work at a retail, like, I guess I already do work at a retail. But, like, I feel like it's something enough that I can kind of be interested at work. Because right. Because it's things It's like I'm pop inter- culture, yeah, movies, things and I'm music. Interested yeah. In, rather I, than, That like, would be pretty cool. Yeah. Groceries, which I'm yeah. not really interested in groceries. <laughs> not really interested in broccoli that much. But. I'll tell you how to trim it up, but <laughs> yeah. I'm not really, not really really interested in it. I think those look super good. I almost bought it, but I was like, "They're funny." I mean, they're just a. It's a good time movie. I've been wanting to buy an insane clown posse T-shirt though. Yeah, I've been getting into vintage. Mm-hmm. I think I've discussed mm-hmm. this already. A little bit, but uh, go off, go off, go yeah, off but on I've been, vintage. I've been searching for a cool insane clown posse shirt. Some ICP. I found a really cool like long sleeve one, but I don't want a long sleeve for summer. Yeah, but yeah. there's one. And it's like black too, wasn't it? Yeah, the one he sent. It's like, yeah, I'm not <laughs> sweat suit. I'd just be cooking in that. And that guy, and I feel like that's like and that hatchet man. That would really like set me off as a juggalo, as being sweaty, <laughs> greasy hair. 
slick back. Start, might put on the face paint. Keep that in my back <laughs> pocket. Like, but that doesn't look good because of all the sweat. So it's just <laughs> it's like just runny. dripping down. <laughs> getting all over the shirt, too. It's just <laughs> covered in, like, white paint. <laughs> like, you just get done putting up, you know, drywall or something. <laughs> I don't even know. You just get done painting. You're like, no, I'm just sweating no, like I'm a just pig. No, I'm just sweating this juggalo makeup off. Jeez. It's like I got this <laughs> black imagine, shirt like, on. Going to the gym and you just see someone, like, running full steam on the treadmill. Fully juggaloed out. <laughs> the Jinko jeans. Full maybe. hatchet man gear. <laughs> <laughs> and just... They're just sweating off. You're the like Hatchet Man jersey. That's like three and sizes that's like, too that's big. That's the end of their workout. It's like when the face paint's all off. That's how they know they're done. Yeah, like, they look right. in the mirror and they're yeah. like, they get shocked because they haven't seen their face, oh. like their naked face, in like a year or something. That's what I look like. You're like, oh, oh I forgot. It's a really good workout today. <laughs> I don't even recognize myself. Just sipping some Fago pre-workout, <laughs> some cotton candy <laughs> Fago mix pre-workout with my Fago. <laughs> Just spray it everywhere. <laughs> All over the gym. Just throwing Fago around. Just like dispensers. Just like the soda founds. Just Fago. I would want that. Like if I ever like am rich. Like yeah, I was gonna say wealthy, wealthy enough. I'm gonna have like a soda stream of Yeah. Like a fountain Fago. like a fountain machine that's got every flavor of Fago in it. God, that'd go on for miles. There's so like, many flavors. <laughs> it's like it's be a whole room. Yeah. Just each wall has every flavor of Fago on it. Yeah, it's not even like cherry or lime. It's like mango with lime. Lime. I don't know. I feel like there's every possible combination. There's a there's a Fago flavor. Of yeah, it. there's gotta be like banana. There's like banana split. Here's <laughs> banana split Fago. But that tastes oh like butt, God. dude. I would hate that. I just hate banana flavored stuff. It makes me sick. I went through a smoothie making phase. Yeah. And I was like, like healthy tr- smoothie or like, like trying to be healthy, but I mean, it's hard to. It sometimes it's hard to make healthy things taste good. True. So sometimes you got a pour a little sugar in there and then blend <laughs> it all up. You get a whole cup of sugar just pour in there. Ah, this will make it taste a little bit better. Make it go <laughs> down easier. Up. Well, the problem is I was doing like strawberry banana because that's easy. You can just buy two pounds of strawberries and bananas. Yeah, but it'd be good. Banana is such a God, how lame is this? I'm about ready to talk about how strong of a flavor banana has in smoothies. That's not very lame. We're scraping. I love it, the dude. Barrel. I love talking about bananas. <laughs> 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 it's just it, any banana you put in there, I feel like you can taste it. Like, I thought half a banana would be... Yeah, dude, banana just overpowers everything. Yeah, banana and peanut butter. If you put that in there, it's done for. You can put put hydrogen peroxide put in there. Put gasoline in there. And it still, still tastes like banana. P- peanut butter and banana. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating healthier. That's good. Yeah. I've been trying to cut carbs. I'm, yeah. I, it's not realistic. Emily's laughing because she knows that's not true. We just like, had pasta. You're capping bro. right now? Yeah, I'm capping, bro. You just had pasta, like you said? We had beef and noodles for lunch. <laughs> <us. laughs> Okay, I'm, cut I'm, carbs, here's, like, I'm being realistic. I'm not going to cut them out. Yeah, you I'm can't gonna, cut them out all the I have way. To cut them, I have to cut them back. Cut them back, yeah. So. That's good. That's what I'm trying, though. I've been running. Uh, yeah? I started running yes, again. Yes, dude. That's dude. awesome. I've been running. Um, go off. <laughs> go off. <laughs> go off. Dude, <laughs> run. up, dude. dude yes, nice. go run. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm going to go run right good now. Good run. Let's go run right now. Just All right, Emily, you can take over. We're going to go run a quick Yeah, 5K. you hold it down. We're going to run hold a 5K. Hold down the fort. Cup, a quick couple miles real quick. But, oh, but uh, you've been running? What did you say? You've been running? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I have, actually. <laughs> That's it. That's all I want to say. Moving but, on. No, um, I am trying to run at least a couple times a week and been eating better. I good, good, good. have been running two miles nice. each time, which I've been, like for the longest time I was only running a mile. Dude, and that's I was fine. Like, I was scared to push myself. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't know. I just, I think I would die. But the other Is day get- I went on the trail and I got like one of those like running tracker apps, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, I like got like to half a mile and I was like, okay, I can turn around and just be a mile. Like a, yeah. a nice one. And I felt pretty good. And I'm like, that's good. I'm like, I could that's easily. Because, that's because you did a mile. Like that's yeah. the thing is people want to rush it. Like. You have to take each little workout as a victory in of itself. Yeah, and like next yeah. time I want to push it to like two and a half. Yeah, and try you to gotta, like just you work baby it up. step your way yeah. up there. But like I found this perfect, um, kind of like way to go on the trail. Okay. So like like a route. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a straight line, but it's still <laughs> like how far to go. Yeah. So like we're from where I park at, you can run all the way down 
um, just down the trail, and then there's this little post marker that says two miles. Mm -hmm. From, like, if you start back farther, there's, like, mile markers. Right. But from where I uh, park at to that mile marker is just one mile. Okay. So I can just run from there all the way to that mile marker, and then I run back. back. That's just – and then it's two miles. And it just – I don't know. Is that helpful to, like – I don't know. To, like, know, like, when to stop? Because I like running – just forward, I guess. Yeah. But it gets really hard to know where I'm or Yeah, I'm like going. where you're at. Yeah. Because I run with my phone, but I don't use like a running tracking app. Because like my cardio is literally just do cardio. Like I yeah. don't have any like, I try to do at least a mile, but it's like I just need to do some form of cardio. Right. You don't really have like a, a set like one right. mile. You just yeah. go until yeah. you're like, okay, this feels pretty good. Sometimes. I mean like uh, we did a 5K last week and it was just we, we went to – the park and it's like a mile loop and we were like okay in my mind i was like i just got done off the goggins like podcast i was Mm -hmm. like super amped i was like let's do four miles (laughs) i'm running 111 miles no (laughs) training (laughs) and then uh um we were like well how about we'll we'll go with two and then see where we're at from there and then we did two and we felt fine so we did three so it's yeah some of it depends on how much time i have and then what i'm doing like if i'm biking i'll usually bike for until i feel like because i'll bike and then turn around and come back. So, like, I'll bike for a while. And then I'm like, okay, this has been – so, like, this will end up being a 30-minute a, a – or not a 30-minute, like an hour ride or something. Then yeah. I'll come back. But, like, when it comes to running, it's like I usually will just do a route or I just run. That's what I did. I think I talked about last time running through the golf course mm-hmm. of, like, running, like, up and down the hills. I just ran, and then I didn't track it at all. Yeah. I was like – I feel pretty good about this. Yeah. And so then I just. I kind of like it because for a while I was like, I really wanted to get like a running watch. And I have this bad habit of like looking at things that I'm like for a while. Yeah. I'm like, I really want, like, I'll just look at stuff that's expensive and. That's all I do all day. All day. I sit on my phone and just look at like clothes. I was looking at like uh, two weeks ago, I was looking at buying a car. (laughs) Really? Just like a used car. Just randomly? Yeah. I was like, I'll just buy this. Kind of like it was like two early two thousands, and then one of them was like a late nine or late eighties. So it's like really kind of at this point, it's kind of retro and like yeah, old school. And cool. I was like, that'll be cool. But then I'm like, what am I thinking? Like, so I have a fully I have a functioning car, car right which now. I just bought. I'm trying to make myself more well rounded. Like, cars are not something I'm very confident in. Like, like I was just telling camera before the podcast. Like, my car is in the it's like in the shop right now. I mean, not like right now, but. I went to take it to the shop today because there was something that I didn't know how to do. And so I feel like it'd be so much easier if I could just learn how to do it myself. Yeah. Which <clears throat> takes time and practice, but I'm always just scared of messing up. Like, the reason I'm not doing the thing on my car today is, is why I took it somewhere else is because I was like, if I screw this up. It's a car. Yeah, it's not. Like you can't. Like, if you mess it mine. up, it's like, oh. And then who's? what am I going to be like? I can't. I don't have a warranty. You know what I mean? Like on yeah. myself. Like if I take it somewhere and then they screw it up, I can be like, hey, Yo, fix you guys it. owe me. Yeah. Which is what happened the first time I got my radio for the car I have now. The, I got the radio installed in it. I was driving home and the car was still driving, but all my gauges and electronics turned off. Yeah, like I've had that. Everything flipped off. And I was like, uh, I was like, wait for my car to just coast <laughs> and like the steering wheel lock up. Yeah. So I immediately drove it back and I was like, hey. It, this happened. They're like, okay. And then they fixed it. And I was like, see, that's that's one thing. I didn't like that it happened, but I liked that they could just fix it. Whereas right. if I were the one that had done the thing to car or to my car, I would would have no idea what to do. Right. But well, I had that problem with my first car, the White Lightning. Yeah. Um, like trying to get subs in it. Mm-hmm. I had these two dinguses. Um, <laughs> that are my are my friends. <laughs> that's why they're dinguses, right? Yeah, because they're my stupid ass friends. friends that were like. Really into, like, subs and, like, audio. Just car audio. Yeah, just car yeah. audio, and which is not my scene. Yeah. I don't really want it to be my scene either. Like, I'm not going to go to, like, a – like, they were going to, like, subwoofer shows. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Car just like, car subwoofer for me. And it's just some dude with the Jeep. And yeah, And everything's like, cut out, and it's just 12 boxes. Yeah, exactly. And, and it, it doesn't even just, sound good. It's just yeah. – it's just air. You can't even hear anything. Like, yeah. you can't hear the music. You're just, like – your entire body is just Vibrating. in an earthquake. You're, like, stuck on vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, well, the glass just broke from your windshield, but I hope it was worth it. Yeah, but it sounds loud, though. It sounds loud, bruh. It sounds loud. That's all you need. But they, like, took my uh, – because when you get subs, you have to get, like, the new uh, radio. 
Like you can't use the stock yeah. radio. You have to do like I think you have to get an amp too. Yeah, like you have amplifier. to get like I, I had the 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 subs, the box, and the amp. I had everything because I yeah. just bought it off one of my friends. But like I didn't have any like of the cables to hook it up. I didn't have like a new um, like radio, like the electronics and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bought all that, and then they are like, "Yeah, we know how to hook it up. We'll come do it." They come hook it up, and uh, kill my car. <laughs> just kill it. Like it won't even do anything. Like you turn the key. Zero. It's the same Zero as if you power. didn't turn the key. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, uh, like, so what now? Yeah. And they're like, whoa, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this has never happened before. Yeah. And so they're like, I'm like, so you guys just killed my car, and that's like, it. All right, we'll see you later. Yeah. They're like, oh, <laughs> we gotta go home and eat dinner because it was a while ago. We're in we're in high school. Yeah. And uh, so they like pull out the stock like radio, and there's like a big like cable that hooks into it with like. <laughs> like there's like 15 or 16 like different color cables that like yeah little wires that plug I mean, into your radio that they're so right yeah yeah so like they all like hook into like the connector yeah, yeah and yeah. so they just took it out and snipped, snipped it oh my god snipped, i was just talking about snipped all of them yeah and i'm like are you guys sure you're supposed to do that and they're yep. like yeah we, we have to we just snip them we have to rewire them and then we, we rewire them to the new connector <laughs> we 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 we, 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 we that's a tongue twister bro we, we, we are we wired them together <laughs> 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 they snipped all of them <clears throat> which is not not, not at all what you're supposed, supposed to, to do. do yes um, i have done that myself though yeah when i had the lesaver i think yeah i think it was because <clears throat> i had i had the same i had two dodos that were my friends yeah at the time and i was like they're like oh we did this to my car that's got to be the same exactly right? yeah so we took off the whole dash and i was like I cut it, and they're like, did you just cut all that? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, now we're going to have to rewire it all. And I was like, oh, it's not not what you're supposed to do? Like, in my head, I wouldn't think to unplug it and then buy something else that plugs into that. Like, you know what I mean? I was mm-hmm. just like, this is connected to this. We need to get rid of that. So I just <laughs> cut it all yeah. off. Yeah. Just take it out of here. Just snip it, bro. Yeah. We'll just, just throw like it. Just surgically removing it. Exactly. But, like, the problem is, is, like, half the cables – that hook into your radio really actually control something else control like your entire like power system in your car yeah. yeah yeah and there's a bunch of wire like different colored wires and a couple of like most of them they're like two of the same color yeah yeah so like, so, like, you're, like yellow and yellow yeah or s- yeah or be like yellow oh, and with yellow, yellow with the white, white line yeah, yeah. yeah i see what you're saying but the problem is is the one from the car didn't have the same colors as the new connector yes, yes. so it's like what uh, exactly they're like what do we do yeah i'm like i don't know you have to find you have to figure out what each of those wire means mm-hmm. on your car and then you have to try to figure out what that component like what wire that is on your radio and it's such it's like the freaking uh what i lost the name of it crap what what's the tablet the rosetta stone it's like <laughs> trying to decipher the rosetta stone it's like trying to like rewire uh, a car radio a rocket for nasa <laughs> apparently to a couple high schoolers that's what it felt like that's what it feels like it feels yeah. like that to me now because that's what true I, I still don't know anything about it i so i had i learned i watched about 20 hours of how to remove the back panel yeah of like a chevy cavalier like every youtube search i was doing was 2005 chevy cavalier yeah remove so I was looking it up and i kept watching i'm like okay okay because i just bought speakers and they're like i have them and i just got the cable so i'm like i'm ready to go but um i went until practice like taking it apart before i got the speakers just so i could like do that part quickly and and just get them in and get on with my merry way but um i was watching like all the videos i were watching was for like sedans <laughs> yeah and i have a coupe and so they are it's all it's, different it's not the same it's not really that much different but the process is different enough that i can't even start the same way right and i'm like all right, well, that's the problem I like, ran into too. Go. Like with both of my cars, like even like when I have a problem with my new one, mm-hmm. anytime I look something up, like I looked something up for either of them, nothing shows up for that specific, yeah, like make and which like car. Part of me like, wants to be like, am I gonna have to be the only person to like? <laughs> am, am I gonna have, have to make, make the video? video? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. All right, here we go. I'm <laughs> gonna be the one guy with like ten subscribers, but one video that has like. 30,000 views because it's all people with the same problem. <laughs> yeah. They're like, finally. Yes. Like, James has saved us. <laughs> We've had, like, a car, like, broken down for, like, years. They're like, oh, my God. Like, how do you do that? <laughs> so, uh, but I, I don't know. I figured out how to do it myself, and that makes me more proud because it's, like, 
yeah. I had to watch the videos to kind of know what to do, but feels good I when was, you do I, something. Yeah, yourself. and that's kind of why I want to keep. Like, I just got new headlights for it that came in today. Nice. So I want to start. Like, I bought an emblem, my front emblem, mm-hmm. the little the bow tie. Is that what the thing's called? The Chevrolet bow tie. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Disgusting looking. Like it was like, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be silver, but for some reason on my car, it's just grimy. It was like clear and grimy. Yeah. Whoa. And I was like, it's been weathered. It has seen some seen, seen, seen better some days. days. Yeah. yeah, it's been to Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just that bow tie. They took it. Just took it. They're like, it's America. This is America. This is Chevy. Chevrolet. <laughs> Chevy power. But, uh, no, I paid like ten bucks and fixed it. And it's like not that big of a deal, but at least I feel like my car looks a little nicer. Right. I mean, so. it's like a, it's a cosmetic upgrade. So obviously, it feels <laughs> good. Great. It just feels like upgrade. I got plus two <laughs> to my speed now because <laughs> my bow tie is all clean. <laughs> But no, but anyway, what I was saying is, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's it's fun to kind of learn. It's fun to spend money. First of all, yes. I like I enjoy spending. money. Oh yeah. So I get I know to spend money on stuff. Too well. And then, uh, and then yeah, I get to learn a couple things. I feel like my car is gonna be more uh, personalized. I'm gonna have. Like I haven't had you. like audio in the back. Like I only had have had front door speakers mm-hmm. that work. Like my rear ones have been blown for about a year. So it's going to be, it's, I'm ready for it to sound like an Start actual. bumping, bro. Bro, tomorrow is bump day. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow? tomorrow ain't hump day, it's bump day. <laughs> oh, today is Tuesday, by the way. So tomorrow is hump day. <laughs> Just to clarify, <laughs> <laughs> that bar was accurate. <laughs> <laughs> this is me deconstructing it. Put oh, you on yeah. genius. Put me on genius, yeah. bro. So actually, what I meant here is when I, James wrote that. He, when G- he it was said that on a Tuesday. Tuesday. So commonly referred to as Hump Day, Wednesday would have been tomorrow. Wow. But now, what was I going with the? Oh, I was talking about the watch. God, I was talking about the watch and how I wanted to get like this really, really big, cool like running watch and all yeah. that. And then I was talking to uh, <clears throat> Adam, who uh, I've referenced before, Adam Walters, because he's training for like special forces, and he's done like Ironmans and all that. So. I was like, if anyone knows, like, firsthand about... It's like, going to be this guy. Yeah. Like, gear. Gear. Running gear. Running it, gear. Yeah. It's not shoes. They're gear. <laughs> yeah. It's not like a hat. It's not running uh, hat. It's running yeah. accessories. <laughs> this is my gear. And I asked him, I was like, you know, do you use any watch? He's like, I just run with my phone. Like, in hand? <laughs> just in hand. That's how I run. I run with my phone in my I hand. I do, too. And I was like, why, do, why am I... Why was I, I looking to spend it. $200 on a watch and I just run with my phone? So, I, instead, I bought this little... Digital nice. watch. I like it. It looks like a Casio. Is that? It's a freestyle. Is it's that the sh- one you were talking about last time? Yeah. Yeah, the shark one? Shark. With like the cool bands? Yeah, you can buy replacement bands. I'm just going to buy a- another watch because I like yeah. I really like them. And they're pretty simple and they're digital. Mm-hmm. That's, kind of like a Casio. That's my plug. It is a lot like a Casio. But I want something a little it. sportier. You know what I mean? Because yeah, that yeah, Casio's yeah. got that metal ba- that metal bracelet. Right. Band, that's so. for when you're going out on that's the for, town. Yeah. That's for when I'm being a hero at work. That's for date night. Like when you go to Red Lobster or something. Oh, I got a date night watch. The, yeah? Yeah. I got a really nice fossil. I got oh. When we went to Michigan City, they were like, yeah, I had some vacation money. And they're like, buy one, get one half off or whatever. Spent about like 400 bucks on <laughs> two watches. Find, find watches out the ass right now. They buy <laughs> I don't one, have the wrist for all these watches. <laughs> So I put them on my ankles or something. <laughs> hey, your ankle monitor? No, it's just my ice. It's my ice, bro. It's my Bad fossil. My fossil. What time is it? Kick your foot up. I don't even know, it's dude. It's karate time. <laughs> I no, just interview, have an that's Apple my watch. watch. That's what my that's an interview watch? Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's my when I dress nice, that's my watch. I want a nice watch. I, like I just it. don't I feel cool when I wear it. Wear watches. Though. I mean, the Apple watch is enough of a flex. Yeah, but I don't wear it. Like, it's been dead for, like, two weeks, and it's happened. What? Yeah. Man. I was wearing it all the time, but it's really, like, I have the rubber band. Mm-hmm. Like, the one that, like, you just get, like, the, the stock. Yeah, the stock, like, black rubber band. And wearing <laughs> it, it's, like, created, like, a rash on my wrist. Ooh, and are you allergic to something? And there's just a red ring. I think red it's, ring of death? I think I'm just a... Bro, you got the red ring of death. I <laughs> yeah, I got the red ring of death on my person. Like, on myself. <laughs> Do you carry it on your person? <laughs> <laughs> Someone fix it. Like, I'm going to send it in, like, those people on YouTube that fix Red Ring of Death, and then they just send it back to you. <laughs> Chop off your wrist. Yeah. Can you fix this for me? Just an amputated hand. Oh, my that God. That'd be so over. messed up. So, oh, my God. You're like, where's the so what I get in my P.O. box today? <laughs> yeah. Today, an uh, unboxing video. Like, <sighs> oh, my God. Call the FBI. <laughs> an unboxing video. So, what's up, guys? 
So here we, got a, here we got some phalanges. Phalanges. <laughs> we got a phalange and an apple watch. We got four fingers and a thumb because I don't classic consider red ring the of thumb is situation. not a finger, okay? The thumb is not a finger? I don't care what. You, no, I hate that. How many, how many fingers do you have? I'm very passionate about that. Dude, that's one of my don't, one of my passions. Don't call a thumb a finger. I'm a thumb activist. <laughs> <laughs> all thumbs matter, bro. <laughs> Hashtag all thumbs matter. Yeah, they're like, how many fingers do you have? I'm like, ten. They're like, no, you have eight and two thumbs. You I'm have like, eight shut and two up. thumbs. You have uh, six, two thumbs, and two pinkies. I'm like, what, what do you mean? The thumb's not a finger. I'm like, I don't care. Do you count your big toe as a... As a toe, or is that like the thumb? thumb? <laughs> Could you imagine? Thumb like situation. monkeys, you know how monkeys have like the toe the thumb? The side one? God, you imagine. The grip <laughs> item? <laughs> you know, you know how much more productive I'd be in my day? <laughs> if, if I had I monkey toes? toes? If monkey toes. I had monkey feet, bro. Bro, I've said that before during one of our uh, our late night Xbox live chats. <laughs> I want like, if I want monkey feet. <laughs> like to me? No, like. What do you mean? Like, I was in there, too? Yeah, you were in Cause there. Because I think I remember that. Yeah. Because that was, like, one just of the funniest things. Ever. It was just, like, random. Just, I just yeah. Oh, just like, if could, like, if I get an arm cut off, I want an Anakin Skywalker type, like, like prosthetic. Robotic, I yeah. want, like, I don't want. Well, they have those now, though. Like, yeah. you, they're really, like, high tech. I've seen, yeah. I saw, the, like, the the ones that are kind of high tech, but I feel like there's still some lag. Yeah. I want. I want straight up like cyborg arm. Yeah. I want n- n- nanoseconds of delay <laughs> between delay. the neurons firing in my so I brain. I want NASA to build my prosthetic arm. I want Elon Musk. I want a Tesla arm. Tesla. Give Tes- me the Tesla arm. Do I have to plug it into the wall? Sorry, <laughs> 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 right, guys. Just punch it. So, uh, I'm going to be a little late. I have to charge my arm. I have to charge my arm. <laughs> B-Y-O-A. <laughs> bring your own arm. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't bring an extra arm. <laughs> you can't bring a third one. You have to have the prosthetic no, but I want uh, – so if that would be my prosthetic if I had to get my arm. But if I had to get feet, psh, monkey feet, 100%. We are – I mean, I already grip stuff with my feet anyway. Like, yeah. Is, you ever You're done already that? working towards I'm like, trying, training yourself I'm, to have monkey toes. Can I – Like, by this time next year – You ever done that before? You be drop, like, like, the remote or something, and you just try to grab it with your foot? Oh, yeah. 100%. You use your toes, and you kind of curl them around the piece of paper that you yeah. bend your knee, bring it up. <laughs> James is giving me a full <laughs> demonstration with his hand right now. And that, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Because I know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah, dude. I want monkey feet. I would want monkey feet, Let's, too. We were talking I about cavemen. It, yeah. Let's go back. Let's, I want leather feet. I, want <laughs> 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 I just want some leather feet, man. Leather monkey feet. That'd be cool, like, band name. <laughs> size, size 10 wide leather monkey feet, please. I'd like to order some, I get some steel leather toes, monkey feet. Steel-toed monkey feet <laughs> for my factory job. When you're going out, you get the suede monkey feet. <laughs> the pointed, <laughs> pointed monkey feet. Yeah, it's got like little sharp points on each toe. Yeah. Your claws, your talons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the eagle feet. <laughs> eagle feet. No, I don't think it can support all that weight. My ankles, dude. <laughs> if you had eagle feet? Yeah, they have like talons. Yeah, they're like little thin legs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want chicken legs. Well, I'm saying like it would be like monkey feet, but but with talons. Yeah, with talons, that would be a scary sight. Everywhere I would God, not just running, just like climbing. Yeah, clumps it. of dirt stuck to it because they just get stuck. <laughs> I gotta scrape out my my talons. Sorry, guys. Hold on, I gotta sharpen my talons. <laughs> so you have to wipe your feet before you, you come in. I saw a picture the other day about how like the back claw, like the raptors. That's what like birds of prey are called. They're called raptors. Yes. How like sharp it is, and it, like it'll get f- like stuck in the like w- like uh, hold on. If it's like in the wintry, I know, I'm really stumbling to get this. Yeah, hole. it's okay. Take your time. Sound it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. These boots, <laughs> these boots have claws, and they get stuck. <laughs> and I learned about it on TV. I saw it on National Geographic, and it was really cool, guys. <laughs> no, but the birds will get frozen to the tree branch. Because that back claw will just get, we'll get stuck. so stuck, and they're like it's such a tight like fit around the branch that yeah. they just get frozen to it, and then they just what? die because they can't move. What? Yeah, I've never heard of that, dude. It's, That's kind of crazy. Yeah, if you see a bird stuck in the tree, help it. Pull. I don't know. Those things are crazy. Yeah, they'll probably kill you. Like birds, an eagle. Birds, dude. Seagulls. See, yeah, see, don't they have webbed feet though? I think so. Emily has a cool <laughs> seagull story herself. Yeah. Yeah. We got seagull stories? We got seagull that stories. Should be a we should have seagull time. Yeah, I was going to say we should a have a segment. segment. A seagull segment. This is the seagull time. <laughs> seagull stories. We uh we went to, we were in Lou, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, we were in Lou, and we Where's went to. Where's that? Uh, it's in uh, Cornwall in England. Oh. So. Cornball. Cornball. <laughs> cornball. Cornwall. <laughs> cornball. Cornwall. Um. We were there, and we went to a little ice cream shop, and the lady that was working there actually was from Tennessee. Ten. I see. Told you I was gonna. She's from the states though, and yeah. she like moved and worked out there. That's pretty cool. At, like some, it's like some local like it's like a Baskin Robbins type thing. Like it's it's kind of chain, but it's also pretty local yeah. to Lou because Lou's kind of like a fish, like a fishing town. Like it's on the it's right next to the coast and. Gotcha. <clears throat> so anyway, so we chit chat with her, and then we were walking out, and she's like, "Be careful, hold on to your cones or something." Hold on to your cones. Hold on to your cones, guys. That'd be crazy. <laughs> but the seagulls will fly down and like they actually swoop your shit, and they legit swooped Emily's shit. No. Yeah. That's why I flew down and I heard ah, I heard like a shriek, and <laughs> I look seagull, and I see mid like time slowed down, <laughs> yeah. and I saw the the, can- the cone movie, the cone of uh, salted caramel just falling, and then the seagull was no. like trying to catch it. And I think, did it catch it or did it fall? And they all, like, a horde of them. Either way. Everybody run. Yeah. It was like someone's, like, food. But they all started yeah. coming. Like so mine? So she lost it. She Damn. paid about. I feel like it's important to mention. Hold on. I'm going to bring the mic to you. I feel like it's important to mention that these seagulls are not, like, normal seagulls. <laughs> They're massive. They're super seagulls. They're, They're like Super hybrid. soldier seagulls. Yeah. <laughs> hybrid, insane seagulls. These are Captain so. America seagulls. They're straight yeah. off the super soldier Girl program. Someone's been injecting testosterone in these seagulls. <laughs> Someone's giving some GH. <laughs> some bolt. Give me that D ball. These seagulls are on that D ball cycle, bro. They're off cycle. They're yeah. cycling right now. Dude. <laughs> some buff ass seagulls. <laughs> so anyway, so we don't like birds anymore. Yeah, so we hate birds. We, long story short, birds are f- stupid. This is an anti-bird household. <laughs> birds are not welcome here. Do not BYOB. Do not bring your own bird. <laughs> if you bring a bird, I'm killing you. Leave your bird at home. How about that? I went to um, one time, like, uh, this guy I used to work with at Target. It doesn't work there anymore because um, I might have done something to get him removed. <laughs> From the <laughs> legally speaking, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that because that's a whole mess. I don't, yeah, I might like, have not contributed. Dead, right? No, 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 <laughs> no. He's still alive and well. I hope he's doing good. He just made me mad. Okay, um, because he was just so I took his job. He was just pulling some shit. So. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, we'll that was definitely a, make that a story for another day. I don't. I'm not gonna talk about. Okay, it never mind that. Yeah, no, I'll tell you off air, but I'm not gonna. All right, I'm not gonna say it on on uh, air. Yeah, for the internet. Okay, because that's just. It's not appropriate. Okay. Um, but he was just doing some stuff that's, like, not okay in not the workplace. Cool. Not cool to Which do. is nothing, like, nothing illegal, but he was just, like, bullying and, yeah. like, Depends. Trying, illegal, to get, trying to get other people, Yeah. like, fired for no reason. Yeah. Um. So, like, but before all this, we were, like, kind of friends, and then one of my, like, I went over to his apartment one night because, like, him, it was me, him, and then this other guy, Trent, that I work with who still works there. And him and I are friends. Yeah. I've not tried to get him removed. And I don't plan Trend, on your it. job is okay. Yeah. You're, you're safe. You're safe with us. Yeah. Uh but we went over there and uh it was just like a zoo in there. So like I show up and it's this little apartment and I'm like, okay. And there's like three parrots or like three uh what is it? Like the cockatiels bird. Cockatiel. Yeah. There's like three of them it. flying around. She's like we walking just went over to like Amazon. To ha- yeah, we went over to just hang out and like just have a few drinks. Mm-hmm. Just to like as just, work buddies, yeah. As just work like buddies, casual, do. yeah. And there's like a snake slithering around, and there's like three birds flying yeah, around. Tarantulas? Do you have tarantulas in there? No, thank God. If there was tarantulas in there, I would went home. Like, nope. It was bad enough with a snake because I didn't really trust it because I don't. You're not supposed to trust snakes. Dude. No, I don't mess with snakes like that. I don't plan on ever trusting <laughs> a snake. Reminds me of the Eric Andre thing where the guy, it's him, and he's on the shoulders of another guy. Pretending to buy a car, and he's. I don't trust like that. I don't trust like that. <laughs> Snakes, I don't trust like that. <laughs> I don't trust like that. I love Eric Andre. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, it was just like f- freaky, and I was like, I had a few drinks, and it just like made it even worse because I was just paranoid. <laughs> I'm like, your senses were heightened. Yeah, I'm like, dude, You're there's like a snake. Alert. There's a snake and birds flying around. I'm gonna like, get those the things aren't flu. supposed to be. <laughs> You're like, I'm not in. We're supposed to be indoors for a reason. Yeah, dude. <laughs> We're supposed to get away from this. 
either a dog or a cat. That's uh, acceptable. That's kind of it. Yeah. It's just Anything someone open the door and let, extra about it. let the zoo out. So who let the snakes out? Just got a hiss, dude. Snakes. Snakes. I'm a snake. Slithery snake. <laughs> well, I don't even remember what I was saying, but I just know. about birds. Birds, man. Are birds real? Oh, are they government? To spy on us? Dude, no. I don't know. Your phone is. We clearly demonstrated that yeah. earlier. Talking about Little Big Town. Little Big Top. Little Get big it right town, there, sorry. partner. Little Big Town. You know that guy uh, passed away? Little Big Toe. Little Big t- <laughs> <laughs> Little big Toe. Little Big Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just thumbing it. What guy passed away? A couple guys. I just blew that off. What guy passed away? Uh, Sid Hey. Sid Hey. yeah. Oh, really? The guy that was in the Rob Zombie Peru clown movie. Dang. It was not directed by Rob Zombie. I oh. wish it was a Peru. That'd be cooler. It was like... um. I don't even know. Just a tribute. I was going to talk about it more, but Sid it's Hague really movie. not interesting <laughs> at all. <laughs> tribute episode is Sid Haig. Dude, this one's dedicated to Sid Haig. I mean, there's a he had a big following with just... It's like a little cult. Like, yeah. Not cult, like <laughs> yeah. killing oh, animals. Yeah. And whatnot, <laughs> Sacrificing like, A cult classic. And, it's, yeah. yeah. He Well, just because of the Rob Zombie Rob movies. Zombie. and I forget what the name of it is. Like, I don't know. Here we go. We have to look it up. We have to look it up. Search, 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 search. Looking up uh, Pepe Sylvia right now. <laughs> if you've seen, it's, it's always, always sunny, sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah, lost the name of it. Jesus. Uh, Sid. Hey. Sid. <laughs> First thing it pops up is Sid the Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Wasn't he in those movies? <laughs> I just watched Ice Age the other day, like the uh, the newest one. The end was it. Okay or trash? I feel like it's trash. Oh yeah, it was garbage. Oh. The only thing, the only good one is the OG. Yeah, the OG, the first one. Yeah. The House of a uh, Thousand Corpses. Oh yeah, yeah. Or the Devil's Rejects. I think both of those have, right. like, it, they're they are in the same like universe. Yeah, and they're like the same characters. Oh, okay. It's like a sequel kind okay. of, I yeah, guess. Yeah. But yeah, those were like big cult classic movies. I think. Hmm. I mean, I would never watch them because that's not <laughs> what I'm about. I feel like they're huge movies, but I'd never watch but them. But I personally, it's not stupid. my cup of tea. Yeah. You been playing Animal Crossing? Are you calling me out? Are you? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> you be keeping up? You be keeping up? No. Because I don't think you have. I haven't. No. I I've been kid. playing a little bit more. Have you? Yeah. I'm trying to. I see these videos on YouTube, like of these people with like crazy cool islands, and I get yeah. so jealous that mine is, looks like dog shit compared to them. And I'm like, yep. These people like. I just want to get the terraforming thing yes. so I can, like, make waterfalls and, like, cool areas. Make my island look cooler. Exactly. Yeah, uh, but I feel like I get sucked into that game. Like, I feel like it's not a quick turn on, turn off kind of game where it's like, if I play it, I want to keep playing it. Yeah. There's a lot like, of you can't just hop in for, like, five minutes and yeah. then you got to like play at least for, like, an hour, I think. So you can just check on the status and then leave. But uh, I plan on playing it soon. Uh, my cousin was getting a copy of it. And yeah. So, you gonna know. visit each other's islands. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully she has uh something not pears or oranges. Hope she gets cherries. That's what I. Need. I have those if you need them. <sighs> Let's link. The up. only thing I don't have is oranges. I can get you some oranges, bro. For real? For real? I can link you up. That's clutch. All right. Dude. Well, I guess I'll be playing Animal Crossing now. Yeah, we gotta link up. <laughs> well. I was gonna- Go ahead. I still, I mean, I was going to say still from games release, I don't have oranges. Oh, really? Which is, I guess, shows how much I haven't played. <laughs> but also shows, like, how many Nook Miles I've spent and have not gotten oranges. Yeah. I think I've spent an ungodly amount of Nook Miles to go travel to other islands. And, and the gotten. only thing I've gotten is, I think, Pears. apples. Oh. The only reason, no. You keep getting apples? Because I, well, I have pears. Oh, on your island. But. I think I've only gotten one non-native fruit, and the other ones just came from my f- like other friends giving me their fruit. Yeah, which is well, I had one friend. She, uh, like you know, Christian. Yeah, his wife. Her native fruit was peaches, Ooh. and I'm like, what? what? So I just like went to her island and grabbed like forty. Like, I'm gonna take all these. Yeah. Real quick. So now I have like my islands like split up into like th- like four different like quadrants, I guess, mm-hmm. because of the river disconnects. So like. I, I took each one and made, the, like, the fruit, like, on each part. Like, one okay. part is all peaches, all peaches, one part's all cherries, That's one cool. part's all apples, one part's all I tried all to do a little orchard, right but I don't have enough land in the area yet. So I just have, like, a very tiny – I just have, like, 
four rows of three trees of that's each what, fruit. That's what I was doing for a while, but, like, I, I placed all mine too close together, so it's, like, so hard to see. Yeah. Like, and it, you can set the angle to where you can see it, but as soon as you move it, it sets back up. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. So what awesome. I did is, like, I, like, kind of, um, like, on each part, well, the, the peaches one, I, like, put three down that are spaced apart, and then above it, like, two, I guess, like, I want to say, I want to say blocks, kind mm-hmm. of, like, two spaces above it. Yeah. I put two in between the three. Oh, So, okay. like, they're, like, stacks. Like so it's, like, offset. three, then two, then yeah. three. Like that a checkerboard Yeah, almost. so you can see, like, actually, yeah. like, cool. what you're doing. And it works much better than having them all, like, in a line. You can't see shit. Yeah. One of the cons. But, no, I haven't really been playing it lately no i'm playing cod warzone have you i'm about ready to get rid of my i'm gonna buy oh here's some i'm gonna buy vr oh the oculus i went to emily's older brother has like he has the oculus quest which is a 100 percent portable vr Mm -hmm. so it doesn't need any computer which is like that's why i'd get it because i don't have like matthew's buying a pc but I don't want to have to be connected to him, but he has right. that, and then he has like the Valve Index with like the controllers that you can see where your fingers like. Whoa. You can grip on like if I so you can't see me, but I'm holding like five fingers up, or f- sorry, four fingers and a thumb <laughs> <laughs> up right now, and then like you, the controller is still attached to you because it's just like, it's like strapped on. Yeah. But it's not. But like your character will have all five fingers up, and then if I put like if I wanted to do like the rock on or the, I love you or like Spider-Man. the spider web thing. Rock on, make I love you, Spider-Man. That's the, the classic <laughs> three. The, d- the triple threat. Yeah. <laughs> that's the trifecta right there. Trifecta. So, yeah. That's all you need is rock on, but I love you, I, or Spider-Man. I watched a lot of people. All you need, man. <laughs> it's like eat, pray, love. Rock on, yeah. I love you, Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man, I love you, rock on. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I watched like a lot of YouTubers that do VR stuff, and it looks pretty cool, but it's also... It's hard to get, like, when you see them react to it, you don't really, you can't connect because you're not seeing it the way they are. So, like, this is right. the first time I've, like, played VR, like, legit. Like, I played yeah, Beat yeah, yeah. Saber for a minute once, and I was like, okay, this is, like, you know, VR Guitar Hero, cool. But, like, actually walking around and, like, being able to look over a ledge yeah, and everything. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I, I don't think, I haven't played that one. I played, I, I played Borderlands 2 VR. Really? Which is so sick because Dang. Borderlands 2 is my like favorite game yeah. of all time so playing that VR was insane it, it was so cool I played Half-Life Alex, and that's like one of the best VR games really? out right now and it was like it's so interactable like you can like there's like a wipe like it's glass and there's markers and you can pick up the marker and draw on it and there's like a radio you can turn the radio on and like tune it what? and everything like everything you can think like you can touch you can and you can I mess get with VR it. man it's, it just sounds so cool. I want the the quest is nice because I like, I don't have a PC, but you can get a lot of the games like the the Star Wars like the Darth Vader Immortal, mm-hmm. that's on there and it looks and plays like it's not top end, like yeah of the in terms of like VR, but for like it's mm, still good for like five hundred bucks it's you're getting it well worth your money because right. it's like a party system like you can take it. And bring it's, it yeah, anywhere. it's actually portable. Like you, yeah. yeah, you don't need to lug your computer around. Does it have its like own little? It's like, like its own little computer in there. Yeah, like, oh, like just in the VR, like it doesn't have like a. No, it's literally just the headset and controller. That's Whoa. it. Yeah, that's so really you kind cool. of. It's like a mobile phone. I think it's like a high-end mobile phone graphics or like processor and like memory card. So it's like it kind of it doesn't look as good as it could like right. as good as vr could but it's as good as a portable portable VR. like high end yeah 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 like multifunctional and it's got, like, vr the cameras like usually you have to have like sensors in that you have to like put like you know when the Wii came out you had to have that little bar yeah, yeah. that could tell so like for vr you have to put like cameras up at the top ends of your room and then they kind of map out the play Whoa. area but for this the cameras are in the headset so you can literally like if I walked into this room and I wanted to establish like establish my play area, <laughs> yeah, I would just set it and then I could draw it like with my like the cameras would pick up how much room I have and then I could draw where I want my play area to be. No. So it's I mean that's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. I just watched a video on Twitter of this. Uh, the captain said, "Don't let your dad play VR." And it was like, "Have you seen the VR game where like uh, you have to walk on the plank?" Yep. And you're like 
out on the top like of the high building yeah you walk on the plank and you, like, and you, you have to like guy, save the cat or whatever and this dude he jumps in yeah he the jumps from the tv oh you've seen it yeah okay yeah well i was good yeah because like it was they actually had like the plank like a two on, by four he was on the plank and he just d- dives, dives head first yeah. into the tv it's pretty crazy i can get like i don't know i can get pretty immersed like, yeah, it's like it's. I think it it makes it so easy to be, become like disconnected. At f- like at first, you're like it just depends on what you start with and like how ex- like because I have like no VR experience. The first time I got into like a really cool like interactable world, I got really lost into it. Yeah, like it's easy for me, but like it's kind of scary. But when you're playing like super hot, you know, like yeah, it's, it's like okay, I know what's going on, and I know this is like you can't really move. You can only just turn, so it's yeah. like, okay. But like the games where you can move around, like that first time where you move and you're standing still but you like your brain thinks that you're moving you know what i mean because your eyes yeah. are seeing oh, you yeah, move yeah, yeah. but yeah, you're yeah. yeah yeah that's what i was getting at so it's definitely cool i'm buying it it's probably going to be like my graduation gift to myself because we're dude. getting that's exciting getting these bonuses from kroger and raking in covid money so i'm going to treat myself COVID a little money. bit got that covid 19 but i did want to ask uh because i was super excited that you listened to the goggins thing yes. i wanted to know what you thought about yeah we'll talk about that um i thought it was like incredible like it just really kind of i don't know i don't want to say it changed my whole attitude because like it's just one podcast yeah like it really made me think of like it sets a different tone yeah exactly it it sets like it sets a bar Mm -hmm. of like what it kind of gives me an idea i guess yeah of like a way to think or like a starting point yeah on like how to callous your mind and just like push yourself and like just like his like the whole thing of like where he was like running like the 112 miles like that first time like where like no training just like yeah. decides he's gonna run 100 miles in 24 hours dude that race that he had where he had to run you have to run 100 miles yeah or like it's a 24 hour race as many and he needed to get um he needed to run at least a 100 mile race to qualify for this other race he was gonna do that was like an ultra marathon or whatever yeah yeah so he ran this race, and he ran 100 miles in, like, 17 hours. And then he called the guy to tell him, like, hey, I ran, I just ran 100 miles. And the guy's like, you're supposed to run a – it's a 24-hour race, not a 17-hour race. Oh. I was like, oh, my God. Like, could you imagine? I yeah. just ran 100 fucking miles. And this dude's like – well, Then he say like, I got, he got to 70 and then, like, basically died. Yeah. And just started, like, peeing blood and, like, he <sighs> shit himself. And then on that lawn like, chair, just yeah. like yeah, oh my god, it was like you know what? Let's start again. We're gonna finish it. Do the hundred. And then he's and then the guy's like, I didn't say seventeen. Yeah, still got a couple said, hours to I go. Said there, Twenty-four partner. hours. I'm like, oh my god, Jesus. But I, I just walk the rest, bro. I'd be like, yeah, man, yeah, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> That's what. Yeah, it's definitely part of me is like, yes, I want to buy. Like, I buy into the whole like, I need to callous my mind. I need to be. If things suck that I have to go through it, that's fine. Like that's gonna make me yeah. more a tougher. Like, just make you stronger. Makes me stronger. But the other thing is like I will, I see how he is now, and I'm like, why can't I be like that now? But I don't. It was just kind of what he talks about in the podcast. I was like, people don't get it because they they see where I'm at now. They don't see what I went through to get right. here. Right. They just think they they should you, they should be just, there. That's how you just like, yeah. You just one day wake up and you're like yeah. I'm like David. you just wake up and you're like okay now I'm gonna I'm run hundred miles and yeah do ninety thousand pull ups. His hands, dude. I, that was scary. Because I was walking around work and, like, I just had it playing in my pocket with, like, the YouTube app open. Yeah. And he started talking about it. I'm like, dude, I got to see this. I just, I'm, just, i like, in the middle of the aisle. I yeah. just, like, looking at my phone, looking at his dude, it's mangled It's, like, hand. melted. Yeah. That is, oh, my God. Because then he started, he was talking about it. He's like, that doesn't happen just after one. Like, you don't do the last pull up and then your hand looks like that. And I just, like, for some reason, that didn't click in my head. Yeah. And then after he said it, I'm like, holy shit. Well, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Like, the fact that your hand would do that or, like, that you'd have some sort of thing. But he's like, you only have one point of contact. Like, yeah. it's just your hand in the bar. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense that that would happen. Like, could you imagine, like, how many, what was he at? Like, imagine, like, 5,000 or something. Like, when did it start to burn? Is what I kind of want to know. That's what I was starting to think. Like, after he said about, like, it doesn't happen after the last one. It happens Like, your hand just doesn't time. fall apart. Yeah. yeah. So, you got to be, like, a thousand in, and it starts happening. You're like, i got to push through. I and still it just got, gets I'm worse and worse. one-tenth the way done. Exactly. That's a, that's a superhero. He really is. He's a real-life superhero. Yeah. That's why I started running again, too, though. Well, that's why I, like, really pushed myself to start running. I ran once before that. I listened to that podcast, and I was like, which it was fine. But like after re- like hearing that mm-hmm. and like listening to the podcast, I'm like, 
I'm just I'm really just gonna do it. Like I'm just gonna. Yeah, like, that's kind of that's why I really wanted you to listen to it. Not the like. I mean, we everyone kind of needs it in their own yeah. way. But I was like, I've been in that. Like Adam was telling me to listen to it, and I had been like, yeah, I'll listen to it. And then like I never did. But like now you see why after I listen to it, it's like you know you need to listen to this. Like there's a lot of stuff you can learn about it. So that's why I was like, yes. I want to listen to the second one because there's another one. Yeah, I like the first one better. Cause really. The second one I feel like is more of. It's more catching up, I guess. Yeah, it's not. Like it's a, not like the whole. You don't get to hear about the whole story. Yeah, again. it's more just like a casual, like what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but what? it's still it's still crazy. Like he yeah. still talks about all the stuff he does, and I'll have to watch it yeah. or listen to it at least. Worth it. I listened uh, to the Action Bronson one. That was really good. I'm Is a he huge Oregon. Yeah, it's like oh, okay. like, it's like six like... years ago though. Oh yeah, it was a long time. They were talking about. I think it was longer because they were talking about. Uh, if Donald Trump actually becomes president. Oh, and yeah. And I'm like, holy, this was this long ago? Yeah. Like, Jesus. It was still good, though. Because I'm a huge Action Bronson fan. Right. And he's, like, Brandon and I were talking about his show, Fuck oh, That's Delicious. delicious. Yeah. And there's a new season. Oh, and really? it just, like, the first episode aired, like, yesterday or the day before. Ooh. And I'm really excited to watch it. Because I was just watching that, that today, like, on Hulu. I was watching the old seasons today. Yeah. Because I just, I think it's a good show. Like, the just personalities, they're just so funny. Yeah. Like, all four of them. Because who's all, who's all on it? It's him. It's Bronson, uh, Big Body, Big Body Bez, which is, it, you you have to watch it just to, like, see what he's like. Because okay. he's, like, a cartoon character. Yeah. He's, he's like, not real. No, dude. He's so fun. Just the, the stuff he says is so, like, off the wall and hilarious. Like, you just, and you're like, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> Like what's he saying right now? Yeah, but it's funny. And then Mayhem Loren and The Alchemist. Okay. Which is like The Alchemist has been like a producer. Yeah. Like a yeah, yeah. beat maker for, for a long a time now. Yeah. Um, I think it's really good. I enjoyed cool. a lot. Cool, 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 cool. It's a TV show that I like. What are you thinking, James? I'm thinking that's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I saw something online. He's lost – Action Brunson's lost 50 pounds in quarantine. Really? Yeah. And I, I just – I read the interview, and he's just been juicing. Oh, like, yeah. Doing that juice cleanse. Yeah, he's been just, like – um and, like, eating better and then just running and doing cardio every day. Yeah. Which is – I'm like, oh, shit. Which made me even more inspired, <laughs> it's too. Totally, it's, like, it's totally doable. The thing is, like, everyone tries to sell you their certain way of yeah. doing it. But it's, like, literally all it boils down to is caloric deficiency. Like, right. if you're – you're putting out more calories than you're taking in. The problem is, is getting to that point though, because some people that's easier to do than others. So it's like to like not eat as much. Yeah, because some people yeah. like the pro- like if you're eating a lot of carbs and stuff, then it's like those usually pack on the calories and those will stay because they're like long lasting yeah, sugars. Bad carbs. But, yeah. Like, but it depends. Like if you're you know if you're training for like if you had a big run tomorrow. Then it's like okay, then carbs are gonna be good for you, right? It just depends. Carb loading. Yeah, it just depends on what like. That's the thing I think is interesting about food science is like it can't really be a one size fits all thing. No, but that's how people try to sell it. Yeah, they, because like celebrities and like, because I almost you, wanted to do the intermittent fasting thing, which mm-hmm. is like where you eat for which eight hours. Which I did, and, then, and I really like that. Did you? Yeah, it worked for me. Dang, you just have to find out what works for you. Yeah, I that's think. what I'm like. You yeah. can't. Yeah, like I, that's what you're getting at. It's like you just can't like. You can't just jump on this program and expect it to work. You just have to find, like, sure, it's going to suck trying to find it, but, like, once you find it, then yeah. you're good. Or you just you have to find, find what works for your body. Yeah, and then tweak it a little bit. Yeah, that's just make it your own. Yeah. Because that's, like, like, that's what I was doing, and I, I liked it, but then I got off of it and then gained a bunch of weight. And now I'm just, like, trying to eat better and less less carbs. Like, I've been having a bowl of multi-grain Cheerios Ooh. mixed in. I'll toss in some granola. Nice, dude. Granola is really good. I could, I bought the granola just the like other day at work. Raw. Like, a whole bag. Yeah, just for, like the clumps. Yeah, I bought a whole bag of it. And then, like, a little cup of yogurt, like, for my <sighs> lunch. Yes. Like, some Greek yogurt. Dude. And it took everything in me not to eat the whole bag, bag. of granola. It's granola and Greek yogurt. Yeah. Dude, that's insane. That's a banger. It's, it's nutty. <laughs> I love it, but the 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 granola and the Cheerios it tastes like uh, like honey it's smacks. Like sweet, Ooh, yeah. Honey like smacks a, are one of, with the toad on the. Front. Yeah, oh. honey smacks are insane. Honey smacks go hard, but it's like a much better version it's of like honey, smacks. honey yeah. smacks. And it's mm. so good. And like yesterday, I had a couple turkey burgers 
which I love. Nice. Turkey burgers over regular burgers. I don't burgers think I've ever had a turkey though. burger, but. If you, you can just get, like, they have frozen. Like the turkey? Yeah. You can get it, like, in ground beef, like, frozen patties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just never. You can get, like, the, like, the, it's not, like, like, in the meat department. Yeah. You can get just, like, the package of just ground turkey just ground and do whatever turkey. you want with it. But you can also go in the frozen whatever and they just have, like, turkey burger patties. Yeah. And that's just easier. You just cook those up. No bun. Had some asparagus and some sweet potatoes. Just oh, thrown sweet potatoes. Cho- Cindy chopped them up and just like cubed them. Put them on a pan with some like like olive oil and honey. Yeah. And a little bit of cinnamon. Threw them in the oven for a while. Oh my god, dude! I was like, I want this every day. Every day. It's my favorite. One of the snack. first meals that uh, Emily made for me was it was sausage, Brussels sprouts, and sweet potatoes, and she just baked it. Yeah. And I was, it was delicious. It was insane. Yeah, I was. Like, I never. Oh my th- God. I didn't think it'd be that good. And I took a couple. Like I, I ate a few, and I was like, "This is my new favorite." Snack. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, they're so good. They're delicious. Yeah, and like some of them are, were like <laughs> sweet bigger. Potato. Shout out sweet potatoes. Yeah, shout out sweet potatoes on this. Like, that's a hashtag sweet potato gang. Bro. <laughs> hashtag sweet potatoes. <laughs> we're just a couple sweet potatoes talking about sweet potatoes. <laughs> just a couple <laughs> of sweet potatoes eating on sweet potatoes. No, but they're so uh, – just bacon. They're fire, bro. That's what I had for lunch one day. I just had two really big sweet potatoes, and that was it. Yeah? Just, That's pff. good. It's delicious. I also, like – I've been really, like, messing with broccoli. Really? I love broccoli. You cooking it? You steaming it? I steam raw. it. You know, uh, raw. Huh? Raw. Like raw, but like a British person would be like, raw. Raw. You got raw broccoli. Raw broccoli. My broccoli. <laughs> mm, don't let a seagull get it. <laughs> um, you can chop it up kind of smaller and then put it in the oven too and just bake it. Yeah. God. Baked broccoli. That is incredible. Just throw a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper. Dude, olive oil will solve everything. And it's like it gets crunchy. Yeah. Like crispy, like little broccoli chips. 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 Little, chips. Broccoli. little broccoli chips. And they're really good. <laughs> it's super good. I just had that in chicken and rice and it was delicious. A good rotisserie chicken. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I'll eat a whole chicken. To myself, I don't care. Feathers and all, leave it alive. <laughs> Dude, we had leave the head Matthew on. had his birthday recently, so we're like, we get a birthday lunch and then like yep. a birthday dinner. And so for birthday dinner, he wanted fried chicken. Nice. That's a good choice. That is, especially when there's leftovers, because I wasn't, I was working that day, so I got yeah. to come home to fried chicken. You ever eat like if you get like KFC and like there's leftovers, you ever eat it like right out the fridge, cold? Can't say I do. Dude, we've gone to KFC like once. Really? KFC's <laughs> We've been to Boston Market, which I think is like something similar to KFC. Yeah. I think. But you can we do it with to, any we went fried to KFC chicken, though. and they were like, We've never gone there before, but they're like I like, okay, we want, you know, a bucket and then this and this and they're like, Okay, those sides come with two sides and yeah. like, green beans or cornbread. And we're like, Okay, we'll have cornbread. Cornbread comes with two sides. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> like a, a Russian doll like yeah. Each inside. Cornbread comes. You can get corn or um, French fries. Right. Uh, French fries. Uh, you can either get with French gravy, fries you can get gravy or, or yeah. mashed potatoes. It's like mashed potatoes. Well, mashed potatoes comes with asparagus or it's like what the fuck? <laughs> or a new car. Given away. Yeah. <laughs> <A> new car. <laughs> <laughs> the colonel will come out and shake yeah. your hand. <laughs> colonel Sanders rolls up in your new vehicle. He's like, <laughs> I just pictured his choice. wheels being drumsticks, just like. Just like <laughs> leg and all, just where it's like some like Flintstones ride. looking car, and you got to yeah. pedal with your pedal feet. Pedal your feet, <laughs> just made out of fried chicken. Just driving a rotisserie chicken. That'd be sick, like the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. <laughs> just throw some, throw some twenty foes on that bitch. <laughs> throw some twenty foes on that, on that foul, <laughs> on that yacht. Let's get it rolling. <laughs> Big pimping, dude. I got the turkey leg. I mean, chicken leg pimped out. I said turkey, chicken, got a turkey sidecar, Kentucky fried turkey. I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm open to that. Colonel Cameron's. <laughs> Colonel K- Cameron's. K- K- <laughs> like no racism involved. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes us better. This is for everybody. It's for everyone. Tur- everybody loves turkey. Indiana fried turkey. Indiana fried turkey. <laughs> like IFT boy. This is IFT gang or it's die. The Ift gang. Ift. Ift <laughs> asthma. <laughs> I'm eating fr- fried turkey on my asthma team. <laughs> Ift. Dude, I'll be 
eat fried turkey out the asthma. Out the asthma, bro. <laughs> There's turkey everywhere. Dude, I gotta pee really bad. Wow, you wanna go and I'll just try to hold down for it for a minute? I don't know. Do you wanna wrap it up? We can. It'd be fun. Go ahead. I'll I'll just talk. You're gonna hold it down while yeah. I go to the bathroom? We'll bring All Emily right. on. She'll get it. Right. I'll be back. Here, Emily, take a mic. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna do a quick interview. Oh, okay. So what are you, you asking the questions? I'll be asking the questions okay, great. from here. So what'd you think? Of the podcast? Yeah, or of, or of anything else. Do you have anything you'd like to talk about? This is your question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do I think about what, anything? What do you think about anything? Wow. Um, I think a lot of things about a lot of things. So <sighs> I think we're going to have so to be true. more specific. I, don't, I think we have to leave it at that. I mean, that really encompasses it all. Should we talk about Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad so good. If you have not watched Breaking Bad yet, you need to watch Breaking Bad. Binge watch it and turn off your phone and pay attention to it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Emily recommends. Yeah. And you said you'd watch it again. I would watch it again. And Emily doesn't watch things Maybe even again. a third time. Wow. that's You guys do not know how strong of a recommendation that is, but that's pretty high. That's 100%. Um, shouts out Jesse because he's my favorite character. I like. I think Mike's my favorite character, but Jesse's, he's also Jesse's a second. It's just, you know, he just, man, what a guy. He goes through what he goes through, what he does. Mm-hmm. That's why I like El Camino. I think he gets... It's so quiet, though. That's my problem. The movie's too quiet. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. That's probably part of the reason I didn't care for it as much. Like the end? It's like... Yeah. It almost feels more like a documentary than an actual show or movie, I guess. Hmm. I think that's why I struggled with it. It's like it seems too real. Yes. (laughs) Yes. I think that's what it was. It pulled on my heartstrings too too much. much. Yeah. Because the show did, but I was also like, okay, it's not real. Right. This is a show. But right. the movie. But the movie felt real. Felt more real. Those high quality graphics. Dude, that 4K, <laughs> that 4K camera they were shooting it with. And they had some great shots too. It's a pretty movie. That one from above, that was awesome. Yeah, with all the rooms, mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, so we did Breaking Bad, and now we're gonna in the series we're gonna move on to Better Call Saul. Yep. We watched <laughs> Better Call. Have you, <laughs> Camera got stuck in the bathroom. You it? Uh, in the bunker. Now he's talking to his mom. Oh, his podcast is we really lost him. We've really gone off the rails. <laughs> I don't think he's returning. I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here by myself. Oh no. Oh no. Emily, let's I can't do this. I'm not an experienced podcaster. Well good. it's not that hard. Oh now I can. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> the bunker. Bunker life. And And Cameron back on the mic. What's up, guys? Wash my hands. Corona free. Thank God. 20 seconds. I was about to give you a high five, but now I can in confidence. Yes, dude. No germs on this guy. But I didn't wash my hands. Joke's on you. So how was it? How was it podcast? I just sabotaged. I asked her a simple question of what do you think? (laughs) What do you you think just in general? Yeah, about anything. Yeah. And she said she she thinks a lot of things about a lot of things. And I thought that was pretty smart. Yeah, dude. I like that. It's simple. It's a very uh, broad very, answer. Yeah. It works for anything. It's obtuse. It covers all angles. <laughs> well, uh, the geometry bars. Dude, I've been listening to Obtuse Angle by Riff Raff. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is probably one of my favorite songs off that album. Really? Like I don't the even rap know. game Bon Jovi. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because I've been listening to that album a lot, actually. It's pretty good. I really like it. Yeah. Is that the one with the world star on it? Yes. Dude, that's a trunk shaker. That beat. For- <laughs> <laughs> that beat <is> a trunk shaker. <laughs> <laughs> put that in my 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 emptied out jeep with the 12 boxes with 12 in it. boxes dude i'm playing world star world star certified world star and jose canseco and all that but i really like obtuse angle hmm, i obtuse. just blast at my car it's like an angle i think it's funny because the uh, neon icon has a lot of like he has quite a range of mm-hmm. like sounds and I didn't know if that was because it was like a first label album or what. Yeah. But it, actually, a lot of his older albums have quite a few different genres in them too. Like the album. Like the older albums, like Rap Game they Bon Jovi. Have it all. Like yeah, they kind of have a little like there's maybe one song that's a different tone, but yeah, which is cool. I like it. It's like a different. It keeps you interested. Yeah. That's why I like. Uh, that's why I like Cherry Bomb so much. Yeah. That song, like each song, is a different 
genre Mm -hmm. and like he did that on purpose yeah and i think it's just it's uh, it's i I can talk about the album all day and i have talked about the album a lot and it's it's just good it's good i think that's what makes like we were talking about artists and art like that's something or not artists and art but like rappers and like artists like that's what to me makes a more of an artist than a rapper like that's that stuff's planned like it's meticulously curated like it's not just like here's a sick beat here's me rapping about the same thing i rapped about in the last song (laughs) yeah here's something in a different way yeah Here's me singing about cars in a different way. Here's me what? singing about money, money. And the bando in a different way. But uh, yeah, like something like that where everything is, you know. Well, isn't planned out. Aquaberry Aquarius like a country album? Um, no. Sorry, for a second I thought you were thinking of Aquaberry Dolphin, the Mac Miller song. No. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, that that's one's what my country. brain said for a second. Said no, silence. but the whole. No, no. He, I thought he came out with the. It's got. Uh, I haven't really listened to it, but I thought no. that was like I know when he was coming out with it. He was because on like the it. album cover, he's got like a country. Like, yeah, he's got a guitar, a, and acoustic the, guitar, a country guitar. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a country guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what acoustics are. They're country, <laughs> country instruments. <laughs> um, I don't think. No, but there are some like. Uh, Hit me up. That's kind of like a, it's not like a country song, but it's like a summertime song. I don't really think it's a, con- it's definitely not a country album because he has Word Around Town, Coding Counselors, like Coding Counselors has Fat Nick on it. Oh. Well, I used to like Fat Nick, but he's uh, gotten into some trouble. Oh, has he? Yeah. Uh, Test Drive. He has Wiz Khalifa. Damn. He's, Dude, he's cool gonna features. have. He has Snoop Dogg on his next album. Uh. Vanilla Gorilla, that's gonna it's supposed to drop in June, which is what he said. Cause you know I don't know with Riff Raff, you never really know. He said <laughs> it's the like the hardest songs. Yeah. Like the hardest album he'll ever put out. Or Vanilla he has Gorilla put out. is. Vanilla Gorilla, out. cause it's at all Ronnie J, which is the Florida producer. Yeah. Um. It's like him and, it's him and Riff Raff's album. Kind that's of. That's tight. So, but I don't know. We'll see. Because he always has features from people, like features of people that I don't have any idea who they are. Yeah. So I'm like, well, Snoop Dogg, I recognize, and that's pretty big. So <laughs> she sl- uh, s- almost said, <laughs> well, you what? were talking about features that you don't know. I was talking about, uh, I think Tiptoe 2 mm-hmm. has Slim Jimmy on it. Yeah. From Ray Remmerd. I love Tiptoe 2. I need to listen to it again. I listened to it when it first came out, but I really. And you were like, eh. Yeah. But I'll, I need to listen to it again. Because Tiptoe 1 is. Incredible! It's going. It's Best. going on my funeral playlist. Yeah, yeah. I want the people to tiptoe my grave to the. Mine is time. It's about time, people. Dun, dun, dun. No, uh, the, the time uh, goes by. Yeah, it's called time, people. That's how it int- the oh, intro is. I thought you were saying something else. That's my no, bad. No, no. I thought you were like. And it yeah. goes on. Yeah, and he's got and like Pringles on his head and in the music down. video. There's like a like, banjo, and it's like, and it don't stop. Because I love that song. And I saw him, like, say something about it just the other day. It was, like, still his dream is to perform it on, like, Jimmy Kimmel Live or whatever. <laughs> really? And that would be the coolest thing, that would be I think, cool. ever. That is a good – that would be a good, like, uh, I don't know. what, a, what Like a work, live – Like an appearance. Yeah, like yeah. a TV live performance yeah, of time. I think that would be, like, the one that works. The best because it's not – It's not insane. <laughs> <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> every other song. So every other word. It comes out to World Star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's an audience shaker. <laughs> Got the whole studio moving. Oh, I was going to say something else, but I completely forget. Yeah. I think my brain's on E. Yeah, dude. Classic. That P really. That P really took it out of you. Yeah. You like sealed the deal. I don't. I can't think of anything else. I, I need to take a nap now, I think. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, had a hard day. <laughs> <laughs> took a piz. Took a piz. P-I-Z-Z. Yes, sir. Taking a piss. Taking a piss. Hold on. Give your girlfriend the microphone. I'm going to take a piss. <laughs> what if I sounded like that? We wouldn't have a podcast. No, we probably wouldn't. Just we probably it. wouldn't be friends if I talked like that. Well, maybe. Maybe not. You never know. Uh, yeah, you never know how the world works. <laughs> never know how the world works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always Depends. like make faces to Cindy, like where I look absolutely like just messed up like yeah. I just make these dumb faces I'm like would you still talk to me if I look like this all the time yeah Emily's laughing because she knows I do something similar yeah where it's like <laughs> I'll say something or I'll kind of make a voice I'm like would you date me if I talk like that and she's like well you just did and I am so 
<laughs> like, all right, true. All time, though, true, he like, got me there. Yeah. It's like that thing, it's like, girls are always like, if, would you still date me if I was a worm? If I turned into a worm, would you? No. <laughs> You're a <laughs> worm. worm. No. Would you what still date gonna, me if I turned into a, a tick? Am I going to date a tick? A no. flea? I'm going to squirt you. I'm, squir- <laughs> I'm squirting. You got Lyme disease. <laughs> Get my off. <laughs> Getting at you with it. And then they, like, I think Cindy asked me that, or, like, I asked that, and, and then. I like how like, you just said, you, have, you know, girls ask if you'd be warm, and you were just like, maybe yeah, I asked Well, that. that's, like, a thing on, like, it's, like, a meme, though. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. TikTok. I've I mean, seen it, and I've lived so it. I've, I've just been, someone yeah. just informed me it was on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting news. <laughs> my, my earpiece is ringing. <laughs> Breaking news. I've just been informed. <laughs> just recently have been, uh, we're coming at you live. And just recently you be been warm informed. Is a TikTok thing. Or TikTok things. <laughs> like, would you be able to talk as a worm, or would you just be a straight up worm, bro? Straight up worm. Straight up worm. Because you can't. That's in a I'm whole gonna, different I don't dimension. Care if it talks. What are I you guess gonna... turning into a worm is a whole different dimension too. But like a worm that talks, that's too outlandish. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> Worms that talk. <laughs> I'll date a worm, but if the worm talks, if the worm talks, yeah. Sorry, you gotta go. No, dude, you can't take him out anywhere. We're gonna go for a walk with your worm friend, and it's gonna dry up and go. <laughs> You have to rehydrate it. You gotta keep the bottle of water on you, or just like spritz it every once in a while. <laughs> just bring my the spray, spray bottle. bottle. I feel like maybe you should have children. <laughs> I think well, our children don't. would be pretty dope, though. Maybe a little worm kid. Little worm kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like Cameron and I, because we weren't planning on having kids with each other. We weren't. No. Oh. Sh- oh, I mean, you weren't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah, that's all fair. Bro, can that's you imagine fair, being something other than a human. No. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like you can, you can like no, you, <laughs> no. Stop imagining that. I don't want I to. Don't want to. Don't put that thought in my head. Take that away, dude. You cannot get me thinking about that. No, but like you would, you wouldn't even be able to like. In your mind, you'd be like, oh, "What's what's your spirit animal?" Like I'd be a bird because I could go anywhere. It's like no, if you were a bird, you'd just be flying around, catching shit with your talons. Exactly. Or eating berries. Like you wouldn't think to go to France. And you know I always, mean? Or yeah, take a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bird, dude. You gotta survive. You take a week off. Yeah, there is no days off. Go dude. to the beach. Straight up survival mode. Because <laughs> I always think like I have this idea in my head for some reason because I'm like I have a pea brain, and like <laughs> you have a bird brain. I, have a, <laughs> I do have a bird brain, but like I'm like if I was a if I was an animal, if like I was reincarnated as an animal, yeah, I wouldn't think in like English language. Like I always think <sighs> That's like such a mind like. I always like think they just think in like an English language. Like you think a bird's talking to himself all day. Like, hey, what's uh, what's going on? Like, going on? how's the weather? Pretty nice yeah. day out. No, like, you, I don't. But what we hear is chirp, chirp. We're like, oh, okay, but they know what they're saying. Do you think they have like, they can talk to each other? Well, they definitely can communicate with each other because like that's a th- like they have to. Well, yeah, but like you can communicate, but, but like you think they, they have like a casual conversation. Oh, I don't know. I think about that with cats. Yeah, like, it's like how you many think a cats ever like? God, I would just kill if you feed me. Like if there are two cats, you think they're like that? We they're planning, they're, they're like, scheming. Bro, that house down there is fucking crazy. That's yeah, tight, bro. There's, they put out food for you. you. The craziest treats. <laughs> they get the fancy feet. I was down there. rolling on the floor for an hour, <laughs> bro. I don't know what they gave me. <laughs> just letting them know how their day was. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool though. But no, we were. Uh, I think about that sometimes because I like to think that different animals have different types of conversations. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Like yeah. birds are always like – they're like people watchers because they're always like – they're usually like – They're always watching. Above. They're always yeah. watching people. Well, they are people watcher, dude. robots controlled by the government watching us. But then like – I don't know. You think like dogs have like real problems? <laughs> <laughs> like – Like real ang- existential <laughs> crisis? Yeah. Like, like, you know, like the like lions, like the, the, the females do the – like basically the hunting – you think they ever like? They're like, God, Jonathan, we should get you off your ass for one. Pick up your end of the bar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm always bringing the food to the table. Just need one day, just one day. I just need a break. I just need a break. These kids you sucking on my pride teats, rock, bro. All day, dude. <laughs> sucking on my teats. I gotta go catch. I gotta go put my life on the line every day to catch prey, and then they gotta suck on my teats for hours on end. And what do you do? You have big hair. Yeah, that's it. You just sit on Pride Rock all day. Just and then <laughs> it's like actually really sad. Like he's just self-deprecating, just like yeah. just like a sad line. You're just there with your hair, thinking you're the <laughs> shit. He's just like, oh, he's just head held down. I'm the king of the away. jungle. He's like, you don't even live in the jungle, you <laughs> idiot. God, 
We live in the plains, we bro. We live in the plains. You're the king of flat land and tall grass. <laughs> <laughs> There's brown grass everywhere. That's cool, though. I would talk to a lion if I could. <laughs> 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 Bro, I'd, I'd judge you if you didn't want to talk to a lion, if you could. Yeah. That power. I, like, uh... See how much information like you could do Some, like, Dr. Doolittle-type moves. Do you think... <laughs> I don't know how my... How my, my Doolittle-type thing. <laughs> yeah, how my MD. <laughs> my MD? Doctor and... My doctorate. Masters and doctorates? I don't know. What's MD stand for? I don't know either. JD's jurisprudence doctor, or juris doctorates. But, like, yeah. I'm just... Medical doctor? As opposed to... That's pretty to broad. <laughs> As opposed to a non-medical doctor? I'm yeah, a no. science doctor. Well, there's like... Latin it's a Latin title. Yeah, Breaking okay. news. <laughs> Just been informed <laughs> that MD is a Latin informed. title. It's Latin. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was thinking... Well, we were watching the show. It was like how animals... We were, it was looking at how animals communicate because it's like kind of going on the same thing we're talking about. Oh, like, so you actually know about this. Do they have like a conscience? Like, do they think like, man, it's really hot out. Like, I wish... I need to find shade. But it's like, no. They literally have such... It's such primitive. Yeah. It's like basic. Like, they taught a chimpanzee all these... A chimpanzee. I don't know why I said <laughs> it like that. A chimpanzee. <laughs> chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down. They uh, they taught it all these words, like they t- I can't remember. I learned like 168 words, or ever like a yeah. They do sign language. Yeah, but like they taught. Yeah, I think it was sign language, but it only like it was literally like the same four words repeating. It was like oh. orange you me orange food give me orange you. <laughs> Just like it was a whole like it was a sentence, but those were the only words in it. So it's orange like, you me give food like that. Like it knew what to say, but it didn't know what like how to, how to like yeah structure You're right. So it's like they're pretty close. Send that, send that chimpanzee to uh, first grade, sentence structuring. You, me, orange, food. Take yes. Sp- he's speaking. Yes, I know what he's talking about. Dude, you could start a cold. Give with this that. man an orange. It's like playing it. That's some Planet of the Apes type shit right there. You, me, orange. It's just on like a podium. You, me, give orange. You, me, and orange. And humans are just all, just quick cuts to humans and shackles. It's like, <laughs> <just> like <laughs> he's like picking oranges for them. <laughs> <laughs> like, thinking about it on your what life. if instead of like we got it wrong this whole time like you know like the thing of monkeys like chimps love bananas yeah it's been oranges, oranges. This and they're, that's why they're so mad all the time that's why they do take over they're like we've been trying it's to like, tell you oranges since the beginning of time, time that we want oranges not bananas god that'd be cool that'd be kind of cool that's like uh misunderstood animals is kind of cool <laughs> to think about i love misunderstanding animals <laughs> yeah like Bro, what, like sharks? Sharks are probably some of the nicest creatures. But no, dude, I hate sharks, bro. Cows kill more people fear. than sharks. I don't care, man. <laughs> Still fuck the sharks. Yeah, dude, I hate sharks. Like, I get anxiety. Like, during like Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> shark Week's like the scariest week. You're like, you stay inside the whole time. You're like, we don't go out. Well, dude, it's I'm shark outside. Week. <laughs> shark. They're shark inside week. the house, dude. They're on my TV. Yeah, exactly. So I'm over. hanging out outside because Shark Week's on, bro. <laughs> staying on land nice dry <laughs> land dude shark week stresses me out <laughs> that's not even that's so funny oh my god so shark week's coming up guys I, it's gonna be a dark time start taking some xanax now <laughs> shark, shark week's coming up You're like you're right dude shark week's tomorrow <laughs> shark week starts tomorrow i'm sweating my ass off right now <laughs> Shaking Seven in my days of hell. <laughs> shark week. That's my purgatory. It's just Shark Week. You're stuck in Shark Week. I'm stuck in Shark Week. There's a Jaws skateboard right there next to <laughs> you. Yeah, I hate sharks coming at you. It comes alive. Dude. Yeah, I thought you hate sharks. You sleep next to a, a shark. I got that for like 10 cents, though. Oh, that's a bargain. Yeah. I can't pass that up. Even if it is a shark, I'll pass yeah, it up. Yeah, that's true. But I'm 10, sa- 10 cents <laughs> shark right there. I was trying Back to on say. the stressed Shark Week thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting nervous talking about it. I'm shaking right now. Um, but I was like, if Shark Week's on, and you're like, to me, like watching just like a great white. Just a great white. A, okay. <laughs> Tell me. Not like a good white, a great white. They're called great <laughs> whites. I know. I know. Okay. I thought you were coming at me like, it's a good. <laughs> you don't really have to break a, it. It's a good white shark. Thing. Break the news to you that they're called great. I don't know if you heard idiot. They're called great <laughs> white sharks. <laughs> You've been living under a rock there. They're fantastic like, whites. Oh, I thought they were good white sharks. I just thought they were nice sh- white sharks. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awesome white shark. <laughs> um, but like, the 
I don't just like I don't explain it. I do know how to explain it, but I'm having trouble right now. All right, I'll give you because it's time. scaring me. Um, <laughs> but like the pure like power and just the raw like the brutality. raw brutality yeah. of like you've seen a have you seen a great white like fly out of the water catching of, like yeah. catching like a seal like a, or something like a whole animal like not just like it's not like yeah. another fish it's like a whole ass animal yeah. yeah and watching just the massive a massive f- fish <laughs> with an even bigger fish yeah razor uh, teeth i, I don't like know 40 rows of razor sharp it's teeth. so scary to me yeah. like just even looking at like a great white well i'm afraid of the ocean anyway the ocean oh, really? oh my dude <sighs> ocean no go zone. No thanks. I'll stay on the beach. I'll put my toes in the water on a beach, but that's really about it. I'll dip my toesy. I'll put my big toe thumb in there. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's my, where I, what am I? My eight toes and my, my eight goes in. My, my two big thumbs. Psh, no. Two toe thumbs. But the ocean scares me. And then just like, I think it's because, like, if I was in the water, I'm at the disadvantage. Right. Like you're, there's you're you're the away team. Yeah. I'm. There's Sharks nothing I can do. Sharks got home field advantage. Oh, by a million. Yeah. Like. Dude's crazy. Dude's crazy. Cows kill more people though. Isn't that, isn't yeah. that nuts? If I like a cow though. I'll pet a cow. Cows are cool. They don't Not have. Not really. I probably wouldn't teeth. touch a cow. I saw a video of a guy who was in like the shark cage, like in the ocean, mm-hmm. and the shark got in there. Like I know that's probably stressing you out, but like, to me, it's like okay, that would be cool. I just pass out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, we're gonna wrap it up. Cameron just yeah, passed. Yeah, Cameron just uh, died from thinking about a shark. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting near a shark. I just big animals. Have you seen like crocodiles, dude? Like, like oh yeah, big? crocodiles are just as scary. Yeah, those things. It's not scary big... because those those can cr- come on the land. Those are like almost worse. They'll swim and run at you. They'll run. They'll sprint. They get a crocodile running, running at me. Their hind legs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> standing up straight like a human, full strides. Dude, human chomping at me. Human croc. I don't know. I just don't. I don't really mess with big animals. Like I'm afraid of big dogs. Have you had, did little, you have a bad experience a with a big dog? Boy. No, no, not even. I'm just. Oh, I'm I was just say, I've had like a big there. dog like bark at me like when I was young, and yeah. it's like okay. I guess I kind of have like uh, when I was a kid, like, my cousins had a big like black lab, yeah, and that was like the most hyper dog I've ever been around, and it was bigger than me, yeah, and so it would just run up to you and like jump on you, yeah, and it's like and like topple tackled. me over. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how is this not the scariest thing I'm, like <laughs> anyone's been through? In their life, like right your now. child brains, like this is death. Like, yeah, it, why did no, you guys? Exactly. Why did yeah. you guys bring me to death's door? <laughs> yeah. Why did you bring this dog over? This thing's a killing machine. He's gonna kill me. I think it's scary that sharks can smell like blood. They can taste <laughs> like a drop of blood. You stopped its smell. <laughs> it's so scary that sharks can smell. <laughs> they can smell my Yankee candle <laughs> from a quarter mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't light a candle near the ocean. <laughs> sharks can smell. Shark week news. Sharks can smell. I think that would calm them down, though. You give a shark a candle. <laughs> just aromatherapy. <laughs> Their eyes, like, they turn white. Yeah, they're just like, they just chill out. Like mellow sharks. Like, I'm not going to eat anybody today. Eh, that smells today. pretty good around here. You know what? I'm not going to lie. You smell like clean cotton linen or something like that. <laughs> you smell like clean sheets. You smell like ocean breeze. Mm. I love that scent. Did yeah, I don't like better? the ocean because I got really sunburnt when I went there. I'm not scared <laughs> of the water. I know it's kind of like the lamest reason, yeah. but I that's went. Cool, I put sun, I, that's cool. That's <laughs> cool. Dude. You drove to Florida and got burnt like a fucking piece of bread. Now I'm scared of the ocean. Now you're scared. <laughs> now I put sunscreen on like a responsible adult. I went. Respect, in. I never put sunscreen on. Come See, I didn't, and that's why I'm still peeling yeah, two weeks later. Still peeling. But no, I got shedding. burnt front to back, both both sides from the waist up. Ugh. And I've never like. I've never been back to the ocean since. <laughs> I have, haven't been back, but I've almost went to the ER. Like really, like it was that bad? Oh my god! It's got like I looked it up. It's called Devil's. Sorry, I just like hiccuped at the wrong time. It's called Devil's, and then cut off. Devil's. It's called the Devil being sunburned. <laughs> it's called Satan <laughs> being sunburned. It's called Satan. <laughs> it's called I've the Devil's Satan. Itch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I went through it 100%. Like, Dude. I just want to touch my whole, but, like, my back. Like, you know when you have an itch on your back, but you mm-hmm. can't reach it? Think yeah. about that, but, like, everywhere. Because if you reach it, you're just going to make it worse. Like, if right. you scratch it's it. It's going to hurt so so yeah. bad. So I w- Just lit- wearing a shirt I was hell. Just, yeah, laying on my bed, like, almost in tears. Just, cr- oh. Yeah. I got summer really bad. We went to Texas one time. They has- the first day, they were like, put sunscreen on. Like, yeah. my aunt and uncle were like, put sunscreen on. Freaking losers. Yeah. They're like. <laughs> They t- they're like the Texas sun is unforgivable, like 
It's a different sun. <laughs> it's like the apex predator in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the food chain. <laughs> the, the Texas sun. It's the sun. But they were not kidding. I spent like an hour just swimming and then done. Just my shoulders were just crisp. Yeah. Crisp. Like sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't even get me started on sweet potatoes again. <laughs> we should replace Shark Week with Sweet Potato Week. <laughs> I'd be much less, I'd be like way, way less, more, less stressed out. Yeah, I'd be way more like, like today's gonna be a good day. Okay, with that my mom loves sharks though. She's a huge shark, like, she she loves sharks. Like, in our DVR, like, every Shark Constant. Week show is like it's still recorded, like which is 20. cool. Like, I wish I like, sh- I wish I wasn't afraid of sharks like that. Yeah, not that I've even I've, encountered one. I've have only ever, had an aquarium. Have you ever happened to cross a shark in never, the wild? No. I haven't, and I'm scared of that's, that's like an a crazy idiot thing, bro. Yeah, You're like you don't even know. No, that's how like you know, that's first crazy world your, experience. Like your mind works like that. Dude, it's that it's that uh it's that primitive brain. Fear of the unknown. Yeah. You're like this thing can eat me. I don't want to be near it. It's yeah. like snakes. It's like people have fear of snakes. Same reason. They yeah. Just well, I just you. have this huge fear of like um um just getting like seriously injured. Like maimed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like. Gore I mean, like like gore like that freaks me out oh, really? so bad. I don't know why. It just like it like it, it just makes me like freeze, hmm. and I just can't like in some like people getting limbs bitten yeah. off and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they see. can get your monkey feet. I need my monkey feet for that. Well, I'm just saying that's. Oh, one how way to am get I gonna it. get my monkey feet? You can uh, get your monkey feet if you get a shark. You bit. can't get it. You can't get just regular monkey feet surgery. You have to have like something terrible happen to you. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be like a tr- catastrophic event. Yeah, or to trauma. keep it, so no, not everybody can get monkey feet. So it's like keep it. <laughs> Doesn't get too popular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone's just gonna have monkey feet walking around. <laughs> not everybody can get monkey. You have to have like your feet eaten by a shark. And yeah. They're like, like, okay, now we'll discuss the third operation yeah. we can perform. Monkey feet compatible. <laughs> Your ankles are monkey feet compatible. Yeah. Uh oh. Dude, hello. James getting a phone call right now. From mom. Yeah, what's up? Okay. We're okay right now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Emily, you're gonna get a potato fixed up for you. Sweet potato? I don't think so. Regular regular potatoes are That's banging it. also. They are no disrespect they're also cool all potatoes matter <laughs> they're all potatoes matter i love each and every single one of the potatoes i love you i love you <laughs> that's me talking to my potatoes <laughs> <laughs> i love you you are a good little potato good little tater <laughs> <laughs> a good little tater oh my god okay i think we really had a good episode yeah dude for having Which, nothing yeah yeah we pulled it out we're getting good at this I think we just need to let them go longer. Yeah. See where our brain takes us. I, like I think that. this is like the Xbox. Like this is what I love about when we just talk on Xbox. Like it would just be like wherever our mind wherever. takes us. Wherever. Yeah. And that's what just talking about the most we're gonna random tap into that shit. energy. Yeah. Yep. We gotta get Xbox party vibe energy. Yeah. Going. I like. And I that. think we found it today. Yes, sir. We really did. <laughs> okay. Let's wrap it up. All right. All right. Let's take um, these socks off. So yeah, off. if anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take these sock mics off. I'm just getting a little crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that really got him. I don't know. That's just so funny. Just hearing you say, let's take these socks off. It's really good. All right, everyone. Let's take these socks let's, off. Everybody take your socks off. It's in like a... Uh, like a workout video? <laughs> All right, now you're going to take your socks off. If a workout video started with everybody take your socks off, I don't know if I'd watch it. <laughs> it's the start. But it's like serious, like, take your socks off. All right, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to need you to take your socks off right now. But they're never Amer- – it's not like – I mean, there's a couple Americans. But we just did a beach body workout by uh, – what was his name? Fernando? Leon. 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 better than Fernando. He's like, you need to do this ab workout. Take your socks off. He said, you need to take your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's like, we're doing planks. He's like, you want to make sure your elbow is in line with – your elbow. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, like, if English is your second language, yeah. I think you need to be a TV personal trainer. Oh, absolutely. Well, get your, make sure your elbows line up with your elbows. Like, yep. yep. All good. They're pretty symmetrical. They are. So anyway. Remember doing hip-hop abs in school? Yeah. That was tight. Just that. Jacked. Oh, in middle school gym class doing hip hop. African American male. He was shirtless. Well, I forget his name, but I he was, he had so much charisma, bro. To him, was so much clout. 
<laughs> had ab clout. I want that hip hop ab clout. <laughs> I want that booty boot camp out. Clout. <laughs> booty boot camp? <laughs> you ever seen them? No. I've never done them, but I know they exist. <laughs> I've never done them. I, I swear. swear. I swear. I've never, never done them. Booty boot camp highlights. <laughs> I promise. Dude, season three is not the best. I you promise. don't even need to look through my my history. I just, <laughs> I'm just being straight up. Straight, a full disclosure. Is, I'm, I'm being never transparent. Don't you don't even need to look it up. Okay. I'll just tell you. I I've promise not watched you. Them. Yeah, just take my word for it. I swear to you. <laughs> okay. Season, season four has got a great cast. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best P90 season. P90X was can't. the worst. I think. Anything involving physical activity is the worst. <laughs> 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 in middle school anything once that big projector was dropped down it's game over dude mm, middle <laughs> school gym i'm class? sitting in the back row with my ink f- my feet on the ground when we're trying to do flutter kicks and i'm waiting to see when that teacher walks by when the teacher <laughs> then start up again then start up again dude trying to do like the fitness grand pacer test or like any of the, that was hell for me <laughs> I don't. Nobody. Un- I mean, a lot of people sure lot of people understand, understand unathletic it. middle school and high school kids, yeah. overweight, uh, that, with bowl cuts like me. That was not a good time. That wears gym shorts and Hollister t-shirts. Uh, not a good scene for me. Pretty specific. <laughs> it's not your, not your crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one in that crowd. <laughs> That's the party of one. There's the five. I'm star the five star general, general of the that. one man Hollister wearing t-shirt <laughs> yeah, army. That's not one man. Hollister Army right there. Oh, Shout out man. to people that were Hollister in middle school. You can get through it. <laughs> you can make it. Look where we're at now. <laughs> Don't you want to be like us? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looks up to us. I love it. Oh, my God. Almost two hours. We have That's to stop insane. now before we go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. All right, James. Um, Sounds good, man. So, yeah, if anybody's still here, which I hope you are, <laughs> If anybody's still listening, if anyone's out there, if anyone's out there in the void that I'm speaking to, please send us uh, questions on Twitter. Literally anything or anywhere. Just email me. <laughs> send me a MLA formatted email. Yes, please. I want Chicago <laughs> Six style. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't think it's a real thing. But okay, I, I, thought, I think it's. I, I thought it was I real. Think it's two real things that I made into one fake thing. Okay. You know what I mean. I thought you were flexing on me with like your knowledge. With my knowledge. I have a degree, so uh, yeah. I don't. So, <laughs> so yeah. Feels really good. Nah, <laughs> I learned about writing styles. I use that Purdue Owl. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. Shout out Purdue Owl. Shout out to Shout the out. Owl. I wonder if the Owl's thinking about <laughs> <laughs> thinking about writing papers. He's thinking about he's stuck thinking about MLA formats. <laughs> <laughs> writing citations. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's just stressing <laughs> out at the, That's just that. at the yeah. nest. Uh, oh. he's, a, he's been around for a while, so he's probably really old. So he's like, uh. Old and wise, bro. Dude, that's how you get them. That's how you got to get them that's owls. That's how you get them. <laughs> you that's buy my your, type of owl right there. You should buy your owls old and wise. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot buy a young owl. That should <laughs> Looking for original. owls that are young and wise. My Craigslist ad. <laughs> Looking for owls old and wise. <laughs> willing to work long hours unpaid must <laughs> be old and wise <laughs> when you look over my uh look at my, my papers my resume. yeah my resume and my <laughs> my papers it's even undocumented <laughs> do you have your papers <laughs> any paper <laughs> let me see your some of your work <laughs> <laughs> let me see that portfolio let me see your paper portfolio <laughs> dude remember dissecting owl droplets yes the owl pellets, bro? Owl pellets, yeah, yeah, droplets. Pellets. <laughs> <laughs> the owl turds. The owl droplets. Yeah, I remember finding a bone and thinking it was, like, so cool, and then not <laughs> thinking about the fact I'm digging through owl shit. <laughs> it was vomit. Oh. Like, it, I know. That, that makes me feel Yeah, better. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really learn a lot. So I've been I... really worried about that since high school. It's like, oh, my this God. past eight years have really to, been yeah, haunting me. Cannot sleep at night because I think I'm digging through owl <laughs> shit. <laughs> Owl vomit. Well, oh, at least it came out oh, the better end, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, now I'm okay. Oh, that makes me feel better. Golly, it's like a load off my back. I feel like a lighter man <laughs> walking around. <laughs> I feel like I just oh, lost 10 shit. pounds. Yeah, it's like their little... little owl vomit. Yeah. like from like from It's like a cat's hairball almost. Well, you I know? don't dig through those either, so... You don't? No, I don't either. Okay. I don't. Have you ever found any bones in hairballs? It'd be bone balls. 
Clicking, bone ball is ready. Bone balls. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're wrapping this All up right, for first time. No more owl pellet talk. No more. We can next time. We can maybe I'll talk some more about maybe owl save pellet. a little owl pellet talk for next time. <laughs> we'll savor it. Let it marinate. Let it bit. marinate in the ch- in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we oh gotta do a little. Yes. Um. So we'll see you guys later. Good episode. Make sure to tweet. At us, either of us, or Instagram, whatever. Just communicate with us, please. We need help. Yeah, please communicate. <laughs> uh, review, like, like and like and subscribe, subscribe. and review Ooh, it. And put a five star. Give, put me a, a, yeah. give me a five star. Give Cameron a fiver. Five star. Give James a fiver, too. Aw. Get, you know just give each other five. This is a... Work together. Work together. This is a this. team effort. Give us a five give stars. Us. Give us five stars. We do have a five star rating. We have... On that, Apple Podcast. That's right. Be like that person. And do what they do. Be more like that one person. But even write something. I don't even think they wrote something. No, they didn't. Yeah. I would love to see like a, a written see, review. Yeah, I'd love to see someone just like from the see, outside, like yeah, come in and just I like to see happen up across this and just be like, just I would even care if they like tear us apart. I just want to see them like Let's try see something. To, yeah. I just want to see something across that screen. <laughs> Negative or positive? I don't really care. What I it don't is. care. But I'd love to see some dude that just doesn't get it. That's like like remember that those videos and that guy's like this isn't funny. Yeah. Like, I'd love to see someone that just doesn't get it and like, be like, this, this is, is the worst joke ever. And be like, yep. Well, you didn't really get Clearly it. Clearly not for you, middle-aged re- Republican. <laughs> Republican. I thought, you, I thought you said, you started with an R, I thought you were going to be a Republican. Middle-aged Republican. You middle-aged Republican, you don't not get it. you. This is for libtards only. Young libtards only. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I hate the word libtard so much. We're done. Nobody use libtard. We'll see you guys later. See you. Good episode. Goodbye. It's going to crack your speakers. Yeah, dude. Bye. James.